After emerging victorious from their duel against the White Woozles, Azarek, Lanu, Sai, Tha- Thalia, Darkmoon, and Cassandra are proclaimed the heroes to represent Piat in the Gauntlet of Gathering. Because of the recent discovery of a teleportation circle within a cave near Klippe, their travel to the roots of the ancient tree was cut shorter. They arrive earlier than expected, but are welcomed by the druids of Athendil, those guarding the ancient roots. Here, our heroes await, for in but a very few moments, they will be transported to Gamaril. Okay, so you guys are uh, somewhere over here already, right? In the, like, the uvula of this, like, great lake. And uh, the druids are, you know, just preparing their their spell scrolls to uh, cast, tra- uh, transport via plants for you guys. And you're accompanied by uh, Governor Elric. Uh, he bids you good luck. And he gives you a map as well as a a compass for your uh, travels to the the continent Uh, he gives you instructions that uh, you just go it's interesting in in my world it's not uh, north south east west it's it's complicated but i won't get into it it now (laughs) Uh, but basically uh, it, there's the center, so that's central, and then when you go towards the edge, that's was it dextral? Oh wait, uh, central, dextral, and then wait, I have a compass here. Oh, there it is, there, there. That's your compass. <laughs> it looks like that. So compass looks like this: central, marginal, and sinistral, sinistral and dextral. And how that works is. This silver ball here moves up and down this line. And these lines represent the rings of uh, Tarin. So these are the rings, one, two, three. So if you guys are, for, if the ball is, for example, here, uh, within the fourth ring, like in between these two lines here, uh, that means you are somewhere in the fourth uh, ring. So like that. And then if you want to go like clockwise, that's sinistral. If you want to go uh, counterclockwise, that's dextral. But uh, another version of a map might be where instead of like it being a circle, it more as like it's like a fan that's being like opened that way and then tried to become uh, made to become like horizontal. And then central would be everything at the top which is basically just this island that's like stretched throughout the whole map. And then uh, that's how uh, this compass works in this world. Uh, so yeah. Cool. Mm, interesting. There you go. Uh, so you guys are there. He gives you those things. He gives you instructions. He tells you that once you go uh, to the ancient tree over here, there are camps assigned and then this is new to him that uh, he was he was just given this information as you arrived in the roots of the ancient tree and the druids relayed the information to governor elric and then remember when he told you before that all of you used to be like put in the same camp and then he warned you because like people from the different regions would just steal uh from the other regions and like you know um try to screw uh you know with uh <laughs> with the other uh representatives right or the other heroes of the different regions so now the system is there are camps that are set like around like 50 kilometers away from the ancient tree and then it's kind of like a semicircle like this here and then each of the camps are assigned to a a region and then he explains that, you know, uh, Adin, Tfa, Tri, Shetirye, and then you are Piat over here, and then Shest is uh, a little bit, you know, central, where you guys are a little bit like marginal and dextral. So that's the direction he tells you. Like, once you uh, arrive in the ancient tree, 
uh, basically you go uh, southeast or kind of like uh, dextral marginal <laughs> margin marginal <laughs> dextral. So uh, there you go. All right. So that's what he tells you. And then at, the, at that point, the druids are ready and they nod at the party. And then uh, Governor Elric will say, I bid you good luck, the Pancake Club. And he's still like, looking at the paper like, I can't believe that's what they <laughs> registered themselves as. But oh, okay. All right. So you guys get transported to the ancient tree. Here is where we'll do a map change. Uh, there's your map change. And then I'm going to also open that on my here. So boom. There you go. You see that. So you guys are teletransported to the ancient tree. You, as the druids, well, like. It is a very big tree. Uh, the Druids instruct you that uh, be careful not to, uh, you know, go around the tree so much because they specifically picked uh, a plant or a vine that's um, with uh, by the tree that isn't like they know that you know uh, the Druids, the local Druids of Gamaril. Are, will not be paying attention to or are not kanang, keeping their eye on. Uh, so what the ancient tree looks like is it's a very large tree and there are even smaller trees that like, you know, uh, coat the perimeter of it and kind of like uh, grow and hug the tree. It's very similar to a balete tree here in the Philippines where mm -hmm. there are, you know, other trees and other like vines that are growing around the the large tree and it's it's very very there's a lot of them like you guys came from like probably each of you came from like a different large vine and you look towards the inside of the tree and then you can you don't even see like the actual ancient tree because it's like deeper into like through like through the vines that are growing mm. and uh it, it's it's very it's very difficult to find like a path through the those vines to actually find uh, to actually be able to witness like or see the ancient tree itself uh because there are all these other trees surrounding it but there you go wow you guys start there and uh, you guys can move now uh, or explore a little bit if you want, uh, but don't stray too far. Uh, the Druids told you not to stray too far because there might be, uh, you know, the locals and the, the guardians of this ancient tree that might be, you know, conducting. Is there anything going on? Like, can we see anything? Um... Okay. Uh, crazy or something? nothing um, crazy it's pretty peaceful uh so around around the tree is like a it's like plains and like a field but cool. you know like outside of the map now okay you can see like the tree line circling the the ancient tree it looks like kung, if i show you the map again uh it's like if I show you the map again, you you see these this tree line around the the ancient tree. There's an opening here, mm. so you guys know like the quickest route to go to your camp is like through the tree line over this area, and then uh, you know going towards that direction towards your camp. Um. So you guys. So there, on on this map, it would be oops, it would be like like this direction. You're going towards somewhere there. 
Cool. Uh, but yeah, cool. for Lanu, you 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 know feel very happy to be here again. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's Lanu's Lanu's like ah oh, yeah <laughs> finally I can feel my feet. Gosh, <laughs> I hate I hate the snow. There you go. The grass is uh, tickling your feet. <laughs> It's it's warm. There's a swimming in the grass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a gen there's a gentle breeze that's huh? There's like a pile of leaves or something. Yeah, lots of lots of piles of leaves over here. The grass is uh, not too short because you know uh, they just let the grass grow. So it's a lot. It's about like uh, shin to like knee height for most of you. For Lano, it's like I don't know, <laughs> uh, waist waist height. <laughs> so there you go. Well, I'm on the ground now. I'm just kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally. For Thalia, Thalia would also experience some nostalgia because, like, years, like years and years, years ago, before their family moved to Athendil, uh, she probably would have. Uh, no, she came from Gamaril, and she probably also transported uh, through the ancient tree to go to get to Athendil with her family. Uh, for the rest of you, uh, like Dark Moon, uh, Cassandra, and uh, Sai, you have not been to Gamaril, but Cassandra, you know that your ancestors, maybe even like your great grandparents or great great grandparents they came from Gamaril so this kind this kind of feels like uh this kind of feels like you know going home to to like uh uh you know like your your grandparents house something like that it feels like that like yeah. so there you go uh Ruth is just <laughs> Noticed, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> like she's like normally like cats would be like curious and like play play with the grass but she's like she's not having it she's like she didn't like she didn't like the trip like the transport via plant situation makes it making her feel a little bit woozy so she's just like and just perched up on on as of Rex shoulder over there yeah there you go, rolling in the grass. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> Sai is like looking at the grass. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, grass. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so you guys can move along. Uh, you guys are going yeah. uh, this direction over here. So I'll just move the ones who can't move their own tokens. So as a wreck. And Talia, mm-hmm. you guys go. It's a big map, very big map. All right, and then you get to the edge of the map eventually. Coolio, uh, so this is a map change again. You guys enter the jungle. You enter the jungle and uh, immediately the the like the atmosphere here is very different from when you just arrived in the ancient tree when you arrived in the ancient tree everything was beautiful you could see the sky the sky was blue weather is perfect as you enter the jungle uh at first it feels safe and fine but the moment the the plant plants and the trees thicken and you enter and then your the sky gets covered even more and more so uh you start to feel a little bit uh, unsafe right and uh almost like lost as well Uh, so you enter the jungle and then what what happens uh what's worse is you guys start to uh like in the jungle a fog starts to seep all around you and immediately you lose vision of anything more than five feet away from you 
So you guys uh, start here. Um, who's missing? Lano's missing. Lano, I'm missing. <laughs> there, there you are. You are in the fog. <laughs> uh, I got really excited. <laughs> yeah, uh, put Ruth. Ruth over there. There you go. Uh, so you guys see the fog in front of you, and the fog seems to shift and shift again. Uh, but it's not like the whole fog is shifting. Imagine a blanket of clouds and fog that's laid on the ground and in front of you. And there's there's one particular form of a cloud of a fo- of the fog that shifts around it, moves like like it's alive. And then what the- it stops for a moment as it notices your presence and then it sinks into the blanket and then it it sinks into the blanket and then you all of you start to hear from many different directions um can i cast divine sense uh, sure go cast divine Ooh. sense Okay, uh, so Divine Sense, uh, where is that? This is something that is new to Azurek. Mm. <laughs> this ability. Very <Divine. laughs> cool. Very cool. Something, something different. Uh, as an action, you can detect good and evil. Until the end of your turn, you can sense anything affected by the hollow spell or know the location of any celestial fiend and dead within 60 feet. That okay. is not behind the local. Cult. Okay. You do not sense uh, those creatures, undead, fiend, uh, celestial. You and Damn. you do not sense like kind of good or evil. Or maybe you think it's evil, but it's more it's like a lighter evil, something like uh, mischievous. Or like trickery. That's mm. what. That's like, what. Like that's the kind. Yeah. yeah, that's the kind of Ew. vibe you're you're detecting right now. Would you like to share that to your party? I would like to share that to my party. Yeah. There hey you guys. go. <laughs> is this yeah. something that is the fog situation familiar to Lanu, or is this all new to Lanu as well? This is a. Uh, you've heard rumors. You know what? Make me a history check if you want to like remember something maybe like another druid has told you. Or you can make a nature check. One of those two. Nature check would be something like you're not reliant on on your memory before, but you're trying to figure this out in the present. So pick one of those things. I did a history check. Okay, cool. Oh, great. So with that, with that okay. role... With that role, uh, you remember one of your uh, druid in uh, probably like a like a lecture <laughs> before, <laughs> or someone, or like you know like campfire campfire stories with with like other druids. They tell of a mischievous uh, type of. It's not even a creature. It's like a like a like a being or um essence essentially mm-hmm. that likes to play tricks on travelers and adventurers when they get deep into the jungle and it takes the form of a mist like this and mm-hmm. it plays games with the adventurers so that they remain lost or they fall into traps or they oh, they no. end up being led towards uh, danger uh, so uh, with that regard especially to these types of spirits or essences that 
go to those extremes those would be like the more evil <laughs> types of uh spirits but uh, with as a wreck it seems to be a little bit more playful so this might be one of those spirits or essences that is a little bit younger if they have an age uh they're still in the stage of just like playing around with people uh, not wanting to kill them outright <laughs> okay good <laughs> yeah all right all right interesting you can tell your party um, that I, I i do tell my party that and i suggest uh that we that we tie a rope around each other so that we don't stray from each other like we have we have a rope that ties all of us together mm. dark moon agree cool yeah let's do that okay all okay right. i'm gonna take out my rope i've got a bit of rope and cool. I tie a rope around everybody you guys can arrange yourselves to like a like a marching order and how you guys are tied uh as a wreck are you keeping ruth like summoned or are you gonna ruth? i'm gonna like uh tie a little string on uh <laughs> ruth's um <laughs> Oh, and just <laughs> when you me, like so. when you like start to tie she's like Meh, and she takes away her one paw and you try to tie the other paw and she's like Meh, Meh. <laughs> and then she just like gives up and then she lets you tie the string <laughs> i'm on you damn cat <laughs> all right, <I'm> <laughs> all right. <laughs> just grappling each other now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh what's your order as you you tie the rope like what's what's the order uh, here i guess i'm first because i i um, pulled the rope out of my back uh, uh, okay can i okay. can i can i cast detect magic queen you can detect magic um as this ritual. as a ritual that's like 10 minutes uh oh. as you are as you are doing this you start to feel the vines and the plant life underneath all of you start to wriggle like oh. uh like the vines kind of look like snakes you look down at your feet you think there's a snake that's going over your foot and then you realize it's a vine but still it's still like a like a what the fuck moment. It's like what? <laughs> and then the longer you take, another vine starts to wrap around uh, Dark Moon's ankle. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? Let's 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 move. So what's happening? Yeah. What's the order? Who's who's behind me? I'll go behind. Wait, what is the what? Dark Moon goes behind. Um, Lanu. Okay, I'm gonna put second on Dark Moon. Okay. And then Natalia will be last. Of course. Uh, yeah. So I'll be behind Sai, I guess. Yeah. Okay. okay. There you go. Oh. And then Cassandra. There, there you go. Uh, Ruth is like connected to a string, <laughs> connected to. <laughs> <laughs> like a yeah, yeah and then she can she can fly so she's just like <laughs> flying flying out yeah so there you go all right as you tie the figure from the fog appears again but instead before you found it like circling around this area around you but as it appears now, it just appears directly in front of Lanu over here, and oh, it is cool. a cool. it is a strong and uh, large presence. And looks down at you. It doesn't have a face. It's just a large, uh, foggy figure. Imagine like the. Oh yeah. Imagine the. Oh. Imagine the wave in Moana, but Ooh. like fog, <laughs> right? <laughs> So nice. the oh. the fog rises and looks down at Lanu, and you guys are tying your ropes, and then it will say, "Smart nice. ones, I will have fun with you, 
and then it will sink back into into the fog. Oh no! As it sinks back into the fog, it will open up a way for you, but not so far as to show you the rest of the way. It's gonna it's gonna have some fun. Oops! Oops! Not Uh-oh. that. Uh, this one. <laughs> so it shows you the way a little bit. Opens up this path. Something else. There you go. All I'm right. Gonna, I'm gonna step forward. <laughs> All right. Now or never. <laughs> cool. Just pulling everybody. Pulling everybody. <laughs> Rose is like. <laughs> 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 As you guys get oh, to so that, <laughs> as you guys get to that point, let me. Ooh. What's up? If I cast uh, produce flame, so I have like a little flame in my hand, does that help our vision if any at all? Try it. Okay, I I produce flame. <laughs> you produce flame, and a fog will jump out from one side, and then. <laughs> blow away the flame and then it'll oh, no. go back to the in, to the other side and then you God hear damn it. <sighs> not here does someone can have I, fire? can I cast uh illusion flame I don't know I wanna make fun of them so. <laughs> <laughs> okay so you minor illusion of flame yeah. Right. You minor illusion of flame, <laughs> the fog will come over it again and then try to blow it away, but then it just goes through the flame and then it stays there. And then, whoosh, and then yeah. the fog will be ah, tricksy, tricksy. Oh, my bro. ASMR. <laughs> Is it? What? I don't know what it sounds like. Like, if it. Does it like hurt the ears or what? No, it just more. <laughs> Okay, I can change the voice if it's like if it's like annoying. Good morning, Mika. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Good morning, Mika. Hey, babe. <laughs> Apas lang. It's okay. Wala pa nag-away. Okay. Also, oh, there is an away. There will be a fight. Yeah. Uh, I t- this was this was an expectation setting. You will almost yeah, always year. have yeah a fight every every session. Anyway. Um, as Lanu, you inch forward, a vine starts to grab at you. I need you to make me, uh, just no, to avoid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna claw at it. Just <laughs> like, to, so uh, claws. no, tr- just to like try and it? avoid it. Lanu, okay. Lanu, you can see like Six, the reaction after, but Lanu, I need you to make me a. Either acrobatics or athletics check. Your choice. Oh. Uh, either way, it sucks. But uh, let's, let's, let's just do this. Okay. Good enough. As you, as you uh, inch forward, aware of um, this type of spirit that likes to play games with... Uh, adventures and and like people who trek they almost always like to be around areas that have hazards so uh kato if if they were if they spawned like near a dungeon they would be inside the dungeon making it harder for uh, travelers to go through and avoid traps uh if this was in a place where there was like a a raging river nearby they would like be around the river and have the fog so thick that it's hard to detect the river and adventurers could like fall into the river and be swept uh towards like the the waterfall nearby so they like to nest in places with hazards and the hazard that you detect here are these vines that are trying to grapple you and restrain you. Uh, So because you are leading the group, you are very vigilant of this. And then instead of like, you know, just lazily walking, you're like very careful. You're like hopping over vine uh, after (laughs) vine. And then 
you're safe. But the moment you get there, Lano, the spirit will say, Do you wish to go further? Yes. Yeah, of course I do. Then I would like to play a game. Oh boy. What kind of game? Reads. I will <laughs> ask you a riddle. And if you give me the right answer, I will open the way. Uh, well, what if I give you the wrong answer? <laughs> then oh, you boy. will stay. Stay? Like me forever? Yes. Jesus. You guys hear that? He wants to play a game. <laughs> 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 there you go. Okay, uh, he wants to play a game. Uh, it will ask you, it'll give you a riddle. You guys will um, have the opportunity to answer it. Uh, if you're fa finding a harder time to answer it, this is what's going to happen. I'll let you an try to answer the riddle within one minute after I ask it. After that one minute, um, one of you can make an intelligence check and I'll give you a clue and you guys can answer after that. But even <laughs> after the clue and you still fail to answer, uh, there'll be consequences. So <laughs> there you go. Uh -oh. All right. Okay, first riddle, he will say, uh, it will say, let's start with an easy one. Uh, easy, I like easy. The more you take, the more you also leave behind. What is it? It will sink to the fog. The more you take, the more you also leave behind. Okay. The more you take, the more you leave behind. One, uh, one minute. Uh, no, don't make intelligence checks now. Uh, within this one Only minute. One of us can make an intelligence check, right? At the end of one minute. And... I won't allow the same person to make the intelligence check again and again. Okay. You guys are gonna give that to just one character with the highest <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> the highest intelligence. <laughs> You're down to 30 seconds, guys. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Mm-hmm. Oh, so no. I'm thinking about Somebody like, Google this. <laughs> is that one? Something, something like water. Like water. Something like love, something like not physical. <clears throat> Salia, Salia Water, answers okay. time. Uh, the fog will Memory? say. Wrong. Take, take. What can you take? Wrong. <laughs> and time yeah, is up. To rely on somebody. So one, someone okay. make me an a who kinsa niyo who. Among you is making the intelligence check. Uh, who has the highest? One with the highest. You have it, Sai? No, I think it's you, Azubrick. No, I don't. I don't have it anymore. I, my stats are uh, old. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not the smartest. Who's the smartest? I've only got Cassandra, four maybe? intelligence. I think it's still Azubrick, actually. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah. You. Oh, what's your yeah, your intelligence is fourteen. Fourteen uh, plus two. Yeah, that's it. It's fourteen. I'm checking the others. Mine's twelve plus two. Mine's ten. Yeah. I'm eleven. Plus yeah, I think it's still as a wreck. So go on. ahead. You make your intelligence check. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Oh, oh, mega smart guy in the party. Mega mind. <laughs> Mega <laughs> Mega <laughs> <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Where is it? Where's the. Uh, GOG dice. The... Trey, remember? Exclamation mark. C. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, exclamation oh, mark C. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, intelligence the checks are you just click. Uh, uh, you just click the modifier. Done. So plus two above oh, lord have mercy oh jeez 
Oh man. You you oh. think the more the more you take the more you leave behind. That doesn't make sense. You're fake? thinking a bit like logic. You're thinking a bit like logically. It's like this yeah, this doesn't make sense because <laughs> the more I take, I leave behind nothing. But if I, I take <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> so with that, that is uh, it'll it'll still say wrong. Your time is up, and then the fog will open up, uh, open up. But the vines will come and get you. So, uh, no. as a wreck, while no, you are thinking, won't. please make a uh, either acro. I uh, know this at this point you guys won't be able to to actively you know trudge through it you're reacting to a vine grabbing you so this will be a dexterity saving throw okay all of us, all of us? no no just as a wreck oh you see as a wreck thinking about uh, for his answer it doesn't make sense and then the fog opens and then vines will grab him and he will be restrained you see as a wreck being wrapped by these vines and then one is like going around his his throat and then as a wreck goes oh, no. <laughs> wait are we allowed to help each other you can help each other yes. <laughs> All right. um, I'm gonna I'm so claw, I'm gonna try and claw at the vines at at Azabrek. Okay. Dark Moon as well tries to. Yeah, claw make me make me attack rolls. Okay, kid, hang on. Oh. Morning. <laughs> Sorry. Swamp man. Oh wait. Oh. Can I make an attack roll? You cannot. Damn it. Bro, did I, I did it backwards. Then hit. Yeah, it'll it's it'll hit. Me. These are these are just vines and it's on as of wreck, so you can hit. I'm just paying attention to the damage. Lano um. attacks with claws and Lano did uh, four damage, so five four damage, damage total. Sure, it the vines easily psh, go away. Uh, as a wreck, make me a Constitution saving throw. Bro, dude, it's just everything now. Um, <laughs> constitution. Great, you, you. Because you're a you're a fighter, you manage to like, uh, you know, brute force your way out of that. So as the, the vines were trying to choke you, you just like stiffen your Ooh. neck so you don't you don't like uh, lose your breath. And then as the vines get cut away, <gasps> you take a deep breath in, and then you shake your head. You were about to you were like getting dizzy, and you shake your head, and then uh, you're you seem fine for now. Uh, do, we, do, we, do we still have to guess? Do we? There's another one, I bet. Uh, you do not have to guess anymore. Uh, oh, you, can, you can move forward. At this point, I would like the second in the line to make uh, acrobatics or athletics checks to avoid these vines uh, going. So Dark Moon, acrobatics or athletics checks. Okay. Great. E so easily enough, uh, Dark Moon is just you know cartwheeling her way uh, through this, <laughs> through yeah. this, through this jungle. The vines are just like. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Uh, at this point, uh, the spirit will go, uh, come closer again uh, to to your side over here, and then it will say, "You didn't get that one." I wonder if you can get this. And then it will ask uh -oh. you its second riddle. I am an eye set on a blue face. My gaze feeds the earth. If I go blind, 
so too does the world. Dark Moon answers. Okay. I am an eye. The sun. The sun, yeah. The spirit will, will reel back. <sighs> too <laughs> easy. And then mm-hmm. it'll open away. <laughs> and yeah. at uh, this... God. Uh, these points, the vines do not attack you. Yay! Nice one, Dark Moon. Uh, so the path will go over here. Over here. Over here. Yeah, take that, spirit. <laughs> we have brains sometimes. We have brains sometimes. As uh, you inch forward, Sai, make me an acrobatics or athletics check. A- acrobatics. Go for it. Acrobatics. Acrobatics. Oh. Mm. Happened. Ten. Ten. A vine reaches out for you. You dodge one, but then you do not notice another vine try to grab your ankle from the back. You slip forward, uh, landing on one knee, and vines start wrapping you. Please make me a constitution saving throw. You guys see Sai being wrapped by these vines. She's on the ground now, and then like vines are crawling up her arm. Oh no, can I help? You can help make your attack Everybody rolls. Help. Ooh. Da, 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 da. I wanna tickle the vine. <laughs> tickle the vine. The the vine. Can I? You can you tickle the vines, the vines try to tickle you back. No, I'm joking I'm joking. <laughs> 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 oh man. No, I, I make friends with the vine. <laughs> Oh, gee. Okay, uh, Lano got an attack in. So Lano, uh, easily enough, you take you take out like one of the vines is like trying to wrap her around her neck. Did you make your Constitution saving throw already, Sai? Yes. Oh, sixteen. Yes. Cool, because Lano was quick to swipe uh, at the vine crawling over your neck, and then you do not. Thanks, Lano. You do not uh, start to suffocate. Thank you, Lanu. Uh, you are still restrained, ro- oh. though. The, some of the vines are still wrapped around you, but I'm sure with Thalia oh. and with Cassandra also like coming in to help, maybe even Ruth, uh, they can get the rest of the vines away. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and then the spirit will mm. come before Lanu uh, oh. and like you know, uh, addressing all of you again. This will be the last riddle. And then... Oh, one more? One more. Yes. I'm gonna tell the spirit, hey, listen, leave our artiste alone. (laughs) (laughs) East. The the fog will kind of like... uh, you know, move around a little bit, teasing the party, moving around this area and then going into the fog, then appearing again on over this side, going near the party and then going back oh. into the fog. It's so easy. Ah, uh, just tell us your last riddle. <laughs> uh, you can kind of discern and detect that he's really, it's really thinking about the riddle to ask you. Uh, that'll <laughs> kind of, you know, confuse you a bit, a little bit. And then something will catch its eye and then it will stop and go back into the blanket of fog and then you will hear from all directions. I have towns without people, forests without trees, and rivers without water. What? I... Dark Moon answers. Wait, what now? Okay. A map. Oh, you got it. You got it. Go, go, go. <laughs> the oh. the spirit will, <laughs> and then the fog will kind of like all 
like imagine like fog that's like staying st- uh, like static right and then it starts to like mm. v- move rapidly in the air and vibrate oh, no. and get angry <laughs> and then immediately the path will open wide and then come at you like try ca- sort of Run. like to encompass <laughs> you and then as it hits you it just h- goes through you and dissipates throughout the whole uh, oh. jungle floor and then oh. uh, it will disappear and then it will you know echoing far away into the distance you will hear next time yay take and that there you go. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Pancake Club got you. Good job, guys. Big claps, big claps. Uh, Dark right. Moon. What was the answer to the third one? I didn't hear. A map. A map. <laughs> oh, so there you go. Uh, How did you get that? The, fir- the first answer to the question. I don't. Wait, I, footsteps. Footsteps, yeah. No. Oh, it's footsteps. It was footsteps. But yeah, good job, guys. Uh, Dark Moon for answering two out of the three riddles. I'm going to give you a clover leaf. Yeah. Yay. Yay. There you go. Good stuff. Uh, Lano, uh, it's safe to say that you can go through uh, this area here and then, like, out to the forest. Like, we still have our rope, so we're still... <laughs> yeah, you guys are still connected. <laughs> Ruth is just like, you know, Ruth is like a balloon. She's like, you know how, how, like, balloons who don't have, like, a lot of helium anymore, they kind of, like, float up and down. <laughs> like. Oh, man. Bobbing. Then how do you think I feel? I'm tall as fuck with a <laughs> rope tied to me. Rope bumpy. Good job, guys. All right. All right. Cool. Good job. Map change you spend. Uh, it's a it's a ways away. Your camp. I'll say you traveled from there. At this point, would be a safe time to camp somewhere in the jungle that's safe. Uh, so all of you, please make me. Survival checks. You can do survival, investigation, or perception, but one at least one of you has to succeed in survival. I'll do perception. Okay. I'll do oh, investigation. Talia. Oh, Lano. All right. Ooh, Good job. Yeah. Invest. Oh. Ooh, guys. Oh, these are these are heavy. Save it for when we Ooh. need them. <laughs> we, got, we got this. We got this. Ooh. Dark Moon. Dark Moon is just you know. Dark Moon's just so Dark like. Exhausted. No, she she's like so just still so proud that she answered the riddle. So she's not even trying this time. She's like, you know, I was doing the heavy lifting earlier. You guys. <laughs> You guys, you guys figure out the our camping situation. Situation. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, uh, you guys are traveling like uh, over over here. Like you came from the ancient tree and you move here. This is like your travel is like uh, one and a half days to get to your camp. Mm. So, but you're already somewhere here. I would say where you have to make camp. Uh, unless you want to risk traveling through the jungle at night and then arriving at your camp, like at like at the in dawn, <laughs> and you might uh, you will like you I all of you will have like a point of exhaustion, but with your roles, uh, Thalia, you know, first found like a spot that was pretty good and then Lano was like no 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 it's this spot and it's just adjacent to Thalia's spot <laughs> this spot is better <laughs> and then, as a wreck as a wreck uh, with your investigation check you can uh, you know you're uh, looking around making sure that uh, yeah there's a creek nearby so we can get water from there uh, and then nice. uh, we're on like 
a little bit of elevated ground so there's no risk of like you know that type of stuff sai with your perception you are you see that uh surrounding the area there don't seem there doesn't seem to be any like um animals or beasts that are scary and you put your ear to the ground and then you don't hear any footfalls of very heavy creatures uh so uh, that's what's hap- that's what's happening dark moon and cassandra are just you know talking in the back cassandra is probably like <laughs> complimenting dark moon on how smart she is dark moon is like, yeah 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 <laughs> that is <laughs> so there you go uh, I'm gonna say you guys were able to, uh, are able to take a long rest for this night no hiccups at all nice. and then you continue travel the next day um, so how you do a long rest is exclamation mark G L R or on your character sheet on D&D Beyond long rest and then confirm and then just exclamation mark update here so it looks like that without the bracket in the beginning there you go mm. All right. Uh, oh, wait, wait. What's long rest point? Action. G. Uh, G. No, no, no. Uh, on D and D Beyond. On the D and D Beyond at the very it is, top, like. Yeah. To Beside of your name. Yeah. Gotcha. Just let it. You saw yeah, it. Take long rest. Yeah, yeah. Gucci. Okay. Done, done, done. Oh, Update okay. your. There you go. Okay. Try uh, to update the uh, tray. Oh yeah, uh, all right. Uh, update. Exclamation update. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Good job. Uh, uh, there's something with um. What's up? Oh, never mind. No, 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 never mind. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> okay. Just double check it. There you go. Uh, that's for that oh, map. Man. I'm very happy with this map because like, I I put all these plants there individually. <laughs> and, what? Uh. I made it so it made sense that you were in the forest, so these shadows are like just the tr- shadows of the trees, and then I just put the stumps there to represent mm-hmm. the trees. And then this is like right. the forest, uh, the tree line where you exit. So oh. uh, that was that's 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 that map. I didn't want you just to explain why there are tree stumps just everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. That's why. That's why this part is like darker, is because the shadows of the trees represent like the canopy uh, above, mm, and then this here is like the tree line. Yeah, 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 yeah. All cool. right. I'm a. Cool I'm a open. Your next map. You. Uh. You wake up early in the morning, you traverse through the jungle, no hiccups at all uh, for the most part of the morning. But as soon as you get near, closer to the tree line, the edge of the tree line where you were expecting to see your camp, you hear, you start to hear a ruckus, you hear a very distant roar and just the clinking and clanking of metal and shouts like commanding shouts and uh the rest of you feel you know heavy footfalls from distance away it's like peep someone stomping on the ground from uh far away and that's what you hear what do you guys do while you're still in the jungle Uh-oh. can i climb a tree you can so like see if I will. But uh, can we climb a tree? Climb trees? You can. I will say, unless you find a tall tree, you will be able to like climb a little bit higher than see over the rest of the trees. But if most of the trees are like the same height, if you climb up, okay, you're just looking through more trees. <laughs> so. <laughs> Can, oh boy. can you you're, look if you're familiar? She has a book or no? He can. Yeah, can Ruth oh. go all the way? In? Ruth can. Ruth can, you know, just decide to bullet all the way to to the tree line the or like all the <laughs> way up. And then fi- oh, with okay. Find Familiar, you can spend an action to switch your vision and hearing to Ruth. And then you can yeah. see. Yeah, you can do that. You do that? That's okay. I'll switch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. You see, <laughs> you see, uh, Azarek let Ruth go. He goes like, Ruth, go! And then Ruth is like, <laughs> <"Let's go." laughs> and she flies whoosh, up into the canopy and then up into the oh, air. Damn. And then, whoosh. and then Ruth's eyes switch from like cat like eyes, uh, where it's like, what what's her what's her eye color? I think it's like yellow or something, or yellow, yeah. It switches from yellow to to blue, and then Azavrek's eyes switch from his blue eyes to like a, the yellow cat eyes of okay. of uh, Ruth. Uh, Azavrek, you can no longer hear or see from your body. From my yeah, mm-hmm. but. Now you can see uh, from above the canopy. I won't let you make a perception check anymore because Ruth's vision is like significantly better than yours. And you're still close enough to the tree line that you can see. She sees, or you see rather, Camp Piat just uh, like a little bit ways in from the tree line that you're about to exit. And it is being attacked. Mm by Uh-oh. what Uh-oh. seems Uh-oh. to be a large ape-like creature with four arms. Oh, no. Four okay, arms? So, yeah, I call Ruth down. I, mm. I go down. I don't mm. know how this works. Um, yeah. And then uh, switch. <laughs> okay, switch. sure. There you go. And you switch like, and then... Call the party. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I call the party. There's an ape thing. Um, yeah, but we gotta deal with it. No choice. Was it, was it just one? There was no other, no, no one oh, else? Was there only one? Was there only one? Ruth only saw one, yeah. Does it look strong? It looks strong. Is How it beefy was this? It was beefy. <laughs> this guy <laughs> definitely <laughs> lifts. <laughs> Man's lift. Oh. Well, if it's trashing our, it's trashing our camp, we gotta deal with it. It. Like, we can't let them get away with us. Yeah, we gotta go. Look intelligent. <laughs> you, you guys are just talking about this in the jungle while, like, they're, they're like fighting no. over there. No. Love is like, oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Together, so. so, you guys yeah. go? You guys go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here you guys go. Careful. This is uh, the camp. <laughs> And then you see, that's what you see. You guys enter from that direction. Uh, you see this big, big guy. Uh, you don't see, you don't see this area yet because there's a wall around it. So this wall is like a tall wall. Uh, and then it kind of like goes up into uh, an elevation in the ground, right? This area. Mm-hmm. And you see this ape is kind of like trying to climb uh, this side of oh, the cliff. And up. there are people that are, you know, shooting it with arrows and throwing uh, daggers at it. So that's what you see. And then you hear from within the camp, someone is like yelling instructions or like giving commands. And then uh, that's what's happening. Uh, you guys are starting from there. What do you do? Cool. Uh, I do, do we roll initiative? Or? I haven't uh, asked you to yet. Not yet, okay. So uh, what do you guys want to do? Add the camp? Mm-hmm. Should we go inside? So do we go, go in, in the camp or like here? I feel like we should deal with the thing All right. first. So, we go so here. it's not inside? Yeah, mm-hmm. like we try to pull it down or something. Mm-hmm. At this point, this guy this guy climbs up a little bit for, further in. No! Shit! Yeah, let's just, yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait, how far is this? Dark, dark Moon. I'm going to move a bit forward. Yeah, okay. Follow Dark Moon. Yeah. yeah. All right. You guys are following cast, Dark Moon. Um, what do you call this? Entangle. Ooh! To, to that, Ooh. To that. Cast, your, cast your spell. Me. This will trigger initiative, right. but it's a good trigger. So cast your spell, and let's see what that does. 
Oops. Hang on. Does it do anything? No. I, I tried to cl click it in, in D&D Beyond, but okay. I don't think um, it did anything. Okay, let's D &D do Beyond's fun. spell yeah, cool, cool. entangle. <laughs> Here, I'm. I'm. Just, I just need to read okay. the whole end. But just take the spell slot right. that you used. Okay, make sure. Cool. To, to take the spell slot I, that I you did. used. One action, you ninety it. feet, verbal, somatic, grasping me, twenty foot square. So yeah, that's gonna. That's concentration, right? I think that's concentration. Yeah. It's yeah. It is. So One. you're concentrating. Uh, and then, uh, so you guys stay in the grid now. You guys cool. stay in the grid now. Cassandra will be something like that. Ruth is over there. Okay. Uh, all right. And then, now go on. You need to do a saving throw. Okay. Entangle. I imagine you wanted something like maybe not that maybe, uh, something like like that 20 foot radius no I have 20 foot yeah. square yeah or you want it maybe a more like a little bit down so it covers like more of the wall as well okay wait how can I draw with the like the brush to the brush looking tool drawing D Something like that. Okay, sure. They have to make what save? Uh, strength. Wait, hold, strength. hold up. Yeah, strength saving throw. Oh, but this is a, this is a chunky boy, so he'll probably be okay. <laughs> <laughs> strength. You never know. Not Surprise. Strength saving throw. Does he? Does it have disadvantage? Because it's surprised. No. Huh? Ooh. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> Worth a try. Worth a try. DC is. What's your DC? Um. Spell save DC. I'm sorry. How do I see that? Oh, strength 13. He rolled a 7. <laughs> plus 4 <gasps> is oh, 11. Wait. wait. <laughs> so he fails. You see this yeah. this uh, ape ape creature with four arms trying to climb over the over the the cliffside, and then immediately from the cliff emerging boosh, vines entangle and wrap the creature, and it's gonna go. <laughs> and then uh, this guy over here was about to get caught by it, but he was like, oh. What was that? And then... Nice. Uh, there you go. Uh, roll initiative. Nice. <laughs> Alright. I just did. You did not. Uh, Can I do it again? I want no, no, again. no, no, <laughs> no. No, don't. Damn it. <laughs> don't. After rolling initiative, oh, someone, please oh, com wait. someone please Sorry, compile I them here. I put it in the wrong, in the wrong oh, thing. Yeah, I That's, the okay. thing. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Just... So just yeah, put, just put, uh, yeah. Someone like compile it in one message like this. Oh. All right. C space in it. Ah. Uh. Ooh. All right. And after you guys have your Come initiative, on. we'll take a break. We'll take a break. Take a break after this. Mm. What's his name? Sparky Sparky Boom Man. Spark <laughs> Sparky what? Who? Oh yeah. Oh, from Avatar? Yeah. Who? Sparky Sparky Boom Oh these Boom guys. Man, the, ah. the one in, in Avatar the Last Airbender. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. With their with their eye tattoo thing. <laughs> cool. Yeah. I didn't even make that association when I picked this art. Which, by the way, is cool art. Kudo, uh, yeah, cool. this is cool from art. a Magic the Gathering card. Cool. Uh, it's cool. Uh, you guys will, mm. will, will, will be introduced to them later after this fight. 
if if you guys survive, if they survive, so. so you said what was your role? I'm sorry, what? What was your role, Yusuf? I got a three. Oh, a three, so you're after me. Okay, okay. Cool beans. Um, how does this work? Oh, Dude, right. Dude, not treating me well today. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Moba. Did they just update or something? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Yo, okay. Take a break, guys. Uh, drink some water. Go pee. For those of more like once you go half more than half of you just woke up so <laughs> did i miss anybody or miss miss uh number anybody the monster mm-hmm. goes middle to top. middle and last if there are more yeah but would i do that would I add more enemies? Maybe. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Man, man? <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be like that. I'm used to having sadistic DMs. Sadistic DMs. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past you. By the way, can I roll perception to see if there are more? Um, I'll allow it. Just, just one <laughs> check. Yes, I'll allow. Uh, yeah. wait. Break, right? Break. Break, 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 okay. break, break, break. BRB. BRB. Ugh, perception. Mm. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> what, the uh, what the fuck is this shit, man? What, what, <laughs> what are, are you rolling? Beyond? Perception, perception. Did it, it, I don't think it showed up here. That's an initiative. Oh wait, no. Why is it not showing up there? Right. Yeah, it's not showing up. Right, here. that's the dice tray, right? Yep. Uh, I thought it was the initiative thing. Uh, wait, what? I'll roll again. For ah, uh, we see it now. Oh damn it! This one's for. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna give you another one, but hey, we're gonna give you low roll. <laughs> as That's a, my only calculation. As of wreck is like, hold on, I'll per- day, I'll yeah. perceive for more more enemies, but like Ruth is just like in front of you. <laughs> there seem to be no enemies. <laughs> Honestly, I could have just. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> if it's weird, I, yeah. I mean, if you want me to change it, I can change it. If it's weird, but no, it's okay. you know. we'll change. no, no. That's it. That's your role. You will get one role. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do two more minutes. Two or one more minute. God, Ruth do be a mode right there. Cool, yeah. Cool. I could have just yeah. used Ruth and like sent her up to look for fucking. Instead of rolling for a perception. She looks like me when I wake up. She looks like me. <laughs> Ruth is uh, everyone when they wake up. <laughs> just tired. She looks like you right now, babe. Yeah. I'm over it. <laughs> there you go. Like bago pa kayo mata ba? She's she's already like done with everything. Yeah. At the very wait, second. <laughs> wait, wait, what's happening? Why are we in the forest? <laughs> You're strange. You what's happening? Why are we in the in forest? <laughs> I feel like that's apt since she, she's been like oh, intoxicated nice this whole time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why did you sleep in the stable, you see, head? <laughs> I got high with the horse. <laughs> you got high with the horse? I thought you were just, I thought you passed out beside the horse. Oh, no. 
Yeah, I just she passed out. <laughs> oh. The horse was talking to her. <laughs> like, whoa, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all right that was a nice place. let's begin yes so initiative sure. is dark moon thalia then sai and then bad guys and then cassandra lanu as a rick gucci dark moon you are up this guy is restrained yes, It's your turn because you're an assassin. I'm sure you get bonuses for this. Because mm. you're attacking first. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Um, Dark Moon invested in a short bow. So oh. she's gonna use that. Okay. Go for it. Short bow. A short bow. <gasps> Oof. Does uh, mine hit? You have advantage because they are restrained. Uh, yeah. So it hits? No, no, no. Roll a d20. Roll a d20. Ah. Oh, right. Um, 16. Oh, nice. Plus 16 plus 6, that's like 20, 24. Definitely hits. So that's 10 damage. You have bone... What are your bonuses? Because you attacked a creature uh, before your before they take their turn. You have bonuses to this. Bonus actions? No, 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 no. Let me check your features. Don't you get like ankle pack or something? Here, you have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that's taken turn combat, and any hit you score against a creature that is surprised is a critical hit. They are not surprised, so delete a critical hit. What about your sneak attack, Kath? They this does sneak attack does not apply here because oh you did have advantage, so you do have sneak attack. So exclamation mark a space sneak attack. Mm, okay. Yeah. So whenever you attack with advantage. Always remember you have sneak attack damage to add to that. So he gets 21 damage. 21 damage. Great. Yeah, yeah. 21 damage. Good job. Insane. The the this creature is called a Giralon. Giralon, Giralon, Giralon. Spider monkey. It's gonna <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> fall from Uh, from the the cliffside, I it it wasn't so high up, but land on the ground. All these all these vines entangling it, and then immediately dark moon takes a lot of damage. <laughs> That is your turn, dark moon. You can move if you want to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dark moon moves over <laughs> here. Gucci. All right, you move over there. That is your. Is that your turn? Uh, bonus action. You can bonus action. Uh, you have a cunning action thing. Bonus action to dash, disengage, or hide. If you want to. Uh no, she she's fine. She's feeling. All right. She doesn't feel threatened. Cool, Thalia, you are up. Not Sai on deck. Uh, I just use all my movement to to go near the thingy. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. There. Yes, and uh, uh, is it possible, ba? Gamma move ang this disentangle spell. Okay, if I go near, no, okay, I'll be entangled also. A creature in the area when you cast a spell, or be in a, a creature. I think not, cause I more than not siyag mawala. Um, like the vines are still there, but if you enter that area, you will not be entangled, cause it's just difficult terrain. It's just difficult oh. terrain. It's just 
the creatures that were there when the spell was cast are affected by the mm. restrained thing. But when you decide yeah. to move into it, you're not the vines are not gonna grab you. Okay. Uh, then I will hold my action when uh, Dark Moon enters around that area. What's your action? Just an attack, a rapier attack. A rapier attack Ooh. when the Girlan goes near you. No, if I have a comrade nga near mo go dira ang area na melee attack. You can't reach though. How are you gonna reach them? Oh, I will. I will move. I oh. Ah, uh, I'm so lost. Okay. What's happening? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Ah. <laughs> uh, hey. uh, oh fuck it. I'll just I'll just use like my at my action to dash. Okay. To get okay. all the way there. And, enter. Yes, and then enter please. in here. Yes, please. Cool, yo. Thalia, brave as as fuck. A little bit sleepy. Oh, just dumb. <laughs> a little hungover. <laughs> Go, goes up like uh, just moving all their movement up towards. They're kind of like wiping like sand from their eye from her eyes as she's like running towards this Girolan. Stands over there among the vines. Uh, you know, jumping over the vines easily and not really being affected by the difficult terrain. And there is a restrained Girolan right there. Uh, <laughs> brave. All right, that's your turn. Sai, you're up. I move here and then I cast my bonus action hex on the Girolan. Great. Uh, do I have to make I a save or automatic na siya? Uh, automatic I think automatic na siya. Okay. Yeah, well, am I saved, Diddy? Okay. And then I cast Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast to roll? I joke. <laughs> yeah. And then 18. for the damage. Mm -hmm. 18 to hit. It'll hit. Damage plus the hex. Mm hmm. So what? Oh my God. Six, six total. What do you mean six total? Ten. Ten. Oh, oh, that's ten. Or you know, you rolled. You rolled nine. That's one man. No, your uh, your eldritch uh, blade is nine. nine. Yeah. Sorry, I that's thought ten. it was five. Okay. Nine. Ten. Ah, uh, because you looked at the roll, ra, sa imuhang kwan. Yeah, here. I yeah. understand. Okay. So, 10 damage. Yeah. Eldritch Blast. Wow. Can you describe what your Eldritch Blast looks like? It's like, a, it's like fairy, fairy dust. Okay. So Aww. when I throw it, it sparkles and it's Aww. like pink. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the girl alone is like, <laughs> All right. Good job, Sai. Is that your turn? Yes. Uh, I don't know. What's my disadvantage, Nia? What are you attacking? Actually, you were supposed to have advantage because he was restrained, but roll a d20 lang in case you crit. Alright. I mean, I have to choose the, a disadvantage pa sa kanang hex sa iyahang roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. 14. Okay, it's okay. You you Plus disadvantage like, ng koan di ba ability niya? Yeah, unsa yung mga spell niyo guys nga need ng kanang saving throw? Well, uh, yeah. okay. Immediately you know he's being restrained, and then on his turn he okay. can choose to he can choose to like break away from it. All right. So disadvantage siya of strength. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Cool yo. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Is that your turn, Sai? Yes, sir. Okay, Gucci. Uh, on their turn, it's not their turn yet, but it will. It will roll. Uh, 
a roar, and then it's gonna call for help. Oh shit! Oh no! So oh, no. from this side, uh, you see this guy appear. Oh no! no. <laughs> no. I thought you were just gonna throw like a small, guard, a like chips or yeah. something. Yeah, monkey chips. Not, not another one, man. Chips, well, another boy. one. And then you see wing, wing. that one. What's up? No. What? On Sasai? is pink and black guy. Okay, sure. Pink and black. All right. Cool. There okay. you go. You see those creatures okay. appear, <laughs> and then immediately oh, they're gonna no. go. Bush, bush, what? Bush. Wait, and what the hell? Dark Moon, you're there. You should have hid. It's going you to. Hid. I should have hid. <laughs> it's going to. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> It's going to bite. Try to. I know it's gonna claw you first with four claws. So four attacks. Bush, 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 bush. Oh. Oops. Oh. Is this? That's uh, a spider monkey. Spider girl. Nani. What's Nani? your What's your AC? Secret. I can check. <laughs> Your AC is 15. Yes. So yes. 8 plus 6 is 14. 3 out of 4 claws will hit. Oh. No. So that's 1d6. So that is 4d6 plus... Ah, uh, no. 3d6, ra. 3d6 plus 12. So that's 9... 11, 15 plus, for 8, 12, 15 plus 12 is 27. 27. So you see this big, big guy run up, run up to Dark Moon. And then uh, you take 20, 27 damage. How are you looking? Very hurt. <laughs> Twenty-seven <laughs> damage. Down, down on our knee. Holy! That was me. I'd be dead. Good. <laughs> and then, with it, wh while you are down on one knee, it's gonna try to bite you. Uh oh no! That will be no. a uh, nine plus. No, no, no. Wait. Nine plus. That's a miss. So, uh, as as you're down on one knee, you just barrel roll oh. to the side and get back. Uh, still manage to stand on one knee, and then it just misses you. <laughs> there you go. Dang. All right. So that is that guy's turn. This guy's gonna go. Oh, bush, bush. oh and no, then oh, no. we'll do four attacks on Talia. Bush, 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 bush. Automatic miss on one, because that's a natural one. Uh, Talia's AC, what's your AC, babe? Uh, uh, 22. Are you serious? You're kidding me. Oh, no. no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's 17. <laughs> that's your... Oh. That's your... That's your previous character. <laughs> right, right, right. That's Thalia know, from another guys. world. <laughs> okay. So 7 plus that is 14. That'll miss. 11 plus... 17 that will just hit and then this one will miss so only one of the four attacks uh hit so you see thalia is still sleepy <laughs> just get <laughs> bounced on like by this guy <gasps> and then oh, thalia wait, wait i have a reaction i'm sorry all right 
You see Talia bzz, 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 dodge these attacks, and then you can reaction, go do it. Okay, uh, hang on, how I wait. Allah, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Brace or repose day, which one are you doing? Brace. So I can just uh, exclamation A, brace, no? No. Uh, you just tell me you're bracing, and then. Uh... Yes. And then attack right here. Uh, when a creature you see moves within reach to melee, you can use a reaction to expend one superior die and make one attacker using that weapon. If that, uh, yes. So, just make it's like an opportunity attack when someone enters your reach instead of leaving from your reach, right? Yes. So go do it. Make your attack exclamation mark a space rapier, and then if it hits, you get to add one d eight. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> that will miss, unfortunately. Okay. So you spent already one um, superiority die. Keep that in. Keep that in mind, okay? Did you okay. take? Did you take martial adept? Yes, I did. Ah, uh, you did. Uh, so you gained one. Yes. Right. So you still have four. Yes. Noted. Okay that okay so f three attacks miss bzz, bzz, bzz. as you you try to as it was approaching you you try to attack but then its immense presence just stuns you a little bit you try to make your attack but then he just flicks it out of the way and then bzz, 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 bzz. Uh, one attack does hit dealing three plus four slashing damage so that's seven damage to Thalia as it slashes you across the side. Seven damage. Uh, and then it's going to try to bite you. That'll miss. Five plus shit. All right. That is their turn. Cassandra, you are up. Lano, get ready. Okay. I'm mob over here. 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm gonna use a second spell slot on you, bitch. You're dying. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> wound you. Cure Let's wounds. See if nigga was, yeah. What's your nigga was? That's gay. I'm just gonna roll. <laughs> what? That's gay. That's so gay. Oh wow. Really? Wow. You heal her for 35? Yeah, oh, Dang. Well, Does that give her bonus, bonus full. Uh, HP? <laughs> full health, no. Yeah. <laughs> no extra <laughs> HP. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no reserve temporary hit points. <laughs> no, no, no. That's there you I go. Do. Okay, I good job, Cassandra. That's it? The the healing points don't like spark off on onto onto Talia. Just kind of like the the healing <laughs> the healing actually like the healing like goes towards the Giralon and now he has ten HP. Yeah. No. Wait 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 a moment. That's a D twenty, not a two D eight. Oh, I was surprised. Yeah, two, I mean, was okay. <laughs> really? Oh, there you go. How much damage? Aww. 27 to 27 no? to yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, minus mm -hmm. minus 9 okay that's still good so that's yeah. 18 the ma dam the marge left this stay alive stay alive oh wait, i heal 9 yeah 9 heal 9 all right all right Thanks, good job Bessie. all right lano you are up as a wreck get ready I am going to cast Produce Flame at and hurl it at the monkey man in front of uh, Dark Moon, which is so. Uh, you don't have perfect line of sight. They'll have cover. Oh, okay. So yeah, wait. I'm going to move. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move. <laughs> There. <laughs> yeah, that's. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. That's Better? great. Yep. Okay. Now I will cast. 
Um, you okay? It's okay. No, no you could yeah. have you could have summoned the flame here, and then you realize I don't have and line then, of sight. I move here. Yeah. That's right. To Ooh. That's oh my god. Yes. Damage. That'll be the dice will be doubled for that automatically, I think. Come on. Critical. Ooh. Ooh. The, yeah. uh, the ape after uh slamming its fist down on uh Dark Moon. <laughs> <sighs> looking over its shoulder towards Lanu, angry. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> There's 14 damage. There you go. Good job. What else are you doing? Um, and then I will. Should I turn into a bear? I should. No. Um, can I move backwards? I don't want it to come at me. I have to move over here. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Move away. Uh, I think that's too much movement, no? So you came from here. Oh. Five, ten. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're Fifteen. Right. I can't. I can't move anymore. Twenty. Ah, uh, you can make it to there. I think. Here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah, yeah, that, that's okay. Uh, Gucci, that's your turn. As of Rick, you're up. And Ruth. I finally, like, fucking slap Ruth out of my face. I go up uh, two, um, two steps or, yeah, so 10 feet. I go up 10 feet and okay. then uh, I stand beside uh, Cassandra. Okay. And then I do a uh, uh, lightning lure. Can I cast the uh, lightning lure on the? Uh, yes, you can. All That's right. a strength save for me, right? Nine. Yeah. What's your DC? Cool. It's uh, only twelve now. Twelve. This guy's big strength. Uh, you see. I know. You see, Azarek. Describe what the lightning lure looks like. So I whip out my hand, this like lightning, like cackling rope thing, and then I just throw it at the, uh, at the ape. Try to all pull. Out, like, I try to pull with all my strength and it's just, does it work? Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I told you, bro. Okay. Seven or lower. So, uh, strength is plus four. Four. Mm. Oh, he rolled a artificial twenty. Oh. So, uh, uh, no. you take your lightning and then whip it at him, and then he Azarek looks so cool. You know the blue lightning, <laughs> but the Giralon is just like, huh, huh, huh. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I still move? Can you I can still... still move. No, I can't. You can oh, I can. Okay. Uh, can I? Can I engage the uh, in close combat? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Uh, so I start running towards the uh, a. And I, and I use action search to uh, booming blade. Booming blade. So with one one hand, try to pull. It doesn't work. So you're the one who moves close. And you take your weapon my out and <laughs> you, you you take your weapon. No, you know you know what would be funny. Like instead of like whipping and pulling close, you whip and then you just like no. like grapple <laughs> and you go towards it. <laughs> this was my plan all along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you get to there. You take out your your weapon, and then booming blade. All right, make your attack roll. Okay, attack roll. Long sword this time. Oh, no. no, yes. Oh, there you go. Nineteen. That will hit. Roll the boys. Alrighty. Oof. That's ten. Ten damage. 
Yeah. You're still. Yes. Yeah, you're not level five yet, so you don't have the extra thing from Booming Blade. <laughs> but uh, damage is damage. Right. So 10, so I'll he's at 24. And then he is boomed, right? And for. Wait, can I do something with my bonus action? Wait, like. Um, uh, can I use lay on hands? Let me see how. Wait. You kind of did a. Uh, let me see, let me see. Oh, it's an action. Use an action. As an action. Yeah, it says as an action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't do it. Oof. That's your turn. Yeah, uh, that's, it. that's my turn. That's it. Yep. All right. Now it is this this guy's turn. He is going to spend an action How's to try he looking, to. By the way? He's looking bloodied. Uh, is he? Cool. Yes, he is looking bloodied. 31. So he tries to rip the rip the vines away from it. That'll spend take his action. Uh, but he will make the check, strength check again. Twelve plus four is like sixteen. I'm sure that beats your DC. Huh? It's uh, this it's bad. It's bad. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. He has oh good job because of the hex. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, he needed. Uh, you guys needed the disadvantage. He failed that. Yeah. So he tries to pull it apart, but then, like, for some reason, pink fairy dust is just like annoying him, and then he, he's just like, yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> and then like he can't, he can't quite like, get, at get the strength. Gorilla. There you go. Oh. Uh, he is restrained. Speed becomes zero. Can't have speed bonuses. He can still attack, but his attack rolls have disadvantage. So he will give up, trying to do that, <laughs> and he will just face down the the elf and try to attack with four claws. All of them have disadvantage. Yes. So I'll do this uh, by twos. That's caught. Ooh. So 12 plus, how much is his bonus again? Plus six is, uh, that is uh, 18, that will hit. This one is a 16, that will miss. So again, so one hit already, that will miss, that will miss. Only one hits yet again. Thalia is just, you know, uh, doing like yeah, backflips. Doing backflips and like blocking with her shield, like doing <laughs> uh, somersaults in the air. So one, <laughs> uh, and then damage is three plus four is seven damage to Talia again. Oh, do you wanna do you wanna do a reaction for this? Because uh, he missed some attacks. Sure. Okay. Sure. What are what's your reaction? Repost. Re Repost. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what does that do again? Uh, no, just my just a regular attack. Go for it. When a creature misses you with a melee attack, you can use a reaction to make a weapon attack against it. Cool, yo. Is that, is it at that every miss? So, like, three times? When a creature misses you... Uh, no, bec you can only have one reaction per koanman. Per thing. Oh. Actually, okay. I don't think you can do this, Nadei Thalia, because you oh. did a reaction, Ganina, during the other guys' turn, during the minion's turn, right? With your brace. Yeah. So you can't do it this turn. It's okay, but we did it. Once have what? Uh, but it no, failed. No, no, it's okay. No, still, like, you spent, you spent your reaction to try to do that earlier, but ni miss Lanka with brace. Okay, yeah. So let's not count that. You still have four superiority dice. Okay? Okay. Cool. Uh, that was their four attacks. My, yeah, that was my mistake for bringing that up. I forgot you already spent your reaction. He will try to bite you with, disad with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a disadvantage right That's there. Cool. Natural one just misses you. Like the 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 vines are just like holding him, and he's just like. Gamit. 
uh, there you go. That is the end of that combat encounter. You guys have one minute to plan. And there you go. That's what's happening. Mm. If I dash here, ba, to help Talia, is it gonna go and provoke yes. an opportunity okay. attack? Yes. Don't you have a thing? That, um, I mean, yeah, disengage? Don't you have disengage? I mean, yeah, yes. disengage. Yeah. You cunning action to just spend a bonus action to disengage, then go here, and then you can do your action. Nice. Um, uh, bear in mind, you have your short bow equipped. So if you want to yeah, take you out. You should do a range. If you have, if you want to do, if you want to take your daggers out, what what you're gonna have to do is free drop. free action drop your short bow just on the ground. Then you can mm -hmm. unsheathe one dagger only, unless you took the dual wielder feat. Did you take that feat, or what did you take? Uh, I I didn't take that feat. What did you What did you do for fourth level? Yeah. Let me check. It's okay. Continue your turn. You know what they say. I, I sorry. Hit. You're plan planning for the eye. Yeah. You should have hit. But yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, you chose I'm skill expert. You yeah, chose yeah. skill gonna, expert. I'm okay. gonna stay here alone. And I'm gonna try to shoot this guy. With my You'll be ball. that'll be with disadvantage because you're engaged with a yeah, good night. a character. Night good. Mm, I just want to deal damage to the to the guy at least. Um, you can cutting action disengage to move like a little bit here, like lower here, and then you're not you won't be engaged with this guy. Your your range attack can be done without disadvantage now. Okay, so I disengage. Okay. Oop. Over there. Mm -hmm. Attack with my football. Bush. Time no. to hit. Miss. Damn it. Damn it. The gorilla will. It'll just bounce Bonus off its action. fur. <laughs> Bonus. Your bonus action was to disengage with cunning, cunning, cunning action over earlier here. All right. That's it for you. Do yeah. you want to stay in range later? You can free action drop the short bow now. Um, do you have, hmm? do you have um, uh, advantage if one of your team members is like within five feet of the enemy? Like, mm -mm. does that give you stealth? Mm -mm. Yeah, I have. I have. A, don't I have koan? Instead sneak attack. If it hits, I can't do that to, no. Uh, when you I have, have to be here. when you have an ally beside a person you're attacking, you do not get advantage from that. It just means if your attack does hit, you get sneak attack damage. Mm, okay. I have extra damage. Yeah, I can deal extra damage. So I drop my extra. short bow. I drop my short bow. Take out and one dagger. Here. Yeah, take out one dagger and move here. Engaging this target. All right, you can't attack yet. Yes. And then on the start of your next turn, you can unsheathe your other dagger. Then you'll have dual wield. Coolio. Yes. Coolio. Uh, Dark Moon. Uh, as a wreck comes in, you know, distracting this this monkey, uh, this ape. Dark Moon slips away, takes a shot, whoosh, misses, drops the drops the bow, takes her dagger, and then whoosh, runs towards. Uh, this guy. Now, uh, you see two of your party members just, you know, somersaulting and jumping over here. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's your turn, Dark Moon. Salia, you are up. Sai, get ready. Uh, I will... I will just regular attack the one that has no damage. Cool. You have advantage on this. He's restrained. So space ADV. Nice. 17, that will hit. Regular attack, so that's 9. Uh, he's at 40. That's one attack. Ah, you only have one attack, pano, level 4. Yeah. Is that how it? How is it looking? Yeah. No, how is it looking? It looks bloodied. Oh. I don't have degrees 
like oh it's really bloody it looks real no only when it only when it gets close to dying that's when i say uh, it looks really hurt or it looks close to death but before that it's just bloody yeah it's just bloody bonus action painting attack to okay that means your next attack has advantage right uh yeah but no need not advantage i just want to add the d8 i understand uh let me see as a bonus action you to add the total damage rolls and gain advantage to add the total to the damage roll and gain advantage sure yes bonus action fainting attack so Yay, Thal- uh thalia comes in fakes fakes a strike and then whoosh, and then flicks her wrist at the at the last minute to make a uh, to deal more damage 45 there you go is that it yes end of my turn cool sai you are up can i uh i wanna cast shatter can i choose this point here wayne for the one the wait oops no 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 wrong somewhere like wait, kanisi I... lama ego yeah how do i <laughs> i don't know somewhere like that i yeah okay i understand is that what that is 10 foot radius yeah 10 foot i don't know how to make it 10 foot radius let me see mona say a 20 foot in a circle yeah uh let me check Sh- uh so let's check shatter spell oops spell On shatter. 14 say 10 foot sphere no 10 foot sphere not radius so oh, sphere. it's it's half of that so it's still the same like somewhere so you can no 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 no. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it for you okay. it's like <laughs> it's like let's erase this it's like if you're trying to hit both of them it's like that yeah all right there all right cool Settle down, repair, blah, 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 constitution saving throw. Okay. So 14. both. 14. Okay. Restrain does not have disadvantage on this. So both of them have flat rolls for constitution saving throw. What's the DC again? 14. 14. Black is lower. Wow, they rolled pretty well. 12 and 13 on the dice. They add 3 to their constitution, <gasps> oh, no. so both save. So do they take do they take damage. half damage? Yeah, yeah, half. So oh, I'll roll the damage. Good. Yeah, yeah. So so eleven eight, half uh, rounded down is five damage each. You okay. guys hear just a boom, right? It's, uh, thunder. It's like yeah. I want the noises to be like a giggle. Is that okay? Sure. <laughs> they just hear, <laughs> and they're like, and then the <laughs> other one <laughs> has also hex. So does it count my hits here with damage the hex? One d six. Does hex say when you do damage or when you hit with an attack? Let me check your uh, hex. Maybe. Whenever you hit it with when an attack. Hit, yeah. So no. Is because a- attack? Yeah, this was what not an attack. Is, this was oh. a spell. This is oh. a saving throw. Okay. Yes. All right. Yep. <laughs> so Bad. no extra damage from that. Is that your turn? Bonus actions? Yeah. I, no. Movement? I'll go move. Okay. Oops. Oops. i move here. Hello, Ruth. Gucci. I just walked Hello, beside you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that your, okay, that's your turn? Yeah. Okay, their turn. Their, mm. uh, since Blue Man over here made his, uh, the thing that he was, he was gonna kill go away, 
Well, he's gonna kill you now. Oh no. So four fist slams. Brr, 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 brr. Natural Can 20! You know, Oh, no. One's a natural 20. No. The rest are... He rolled 12, 12, and 14. Plus his modifiers are... 6 to each. So the lowest he rolled was uh, 18. Your AC Killed as of wreck is 16. So all attacks <laughs> hit. And no. one... Oh, no. And one... Dragon react. <laughs> what? Let me cash shield. <laughs> oh yeah, cash shield, cash oh, shield. Cool, cool, cool. So you cash shield, that gives you plus five. Plus so he, five, yeah. four. So that 21. becomes twenty-one. Your AC is My sixteen plus one. twenty-one. So his one that rolled an artificial twenty also misses. So only the critical hit hits you. Okay, good. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah. Uh, what oh, you oh, guys, okay. <laughs> you guys see, uh, this the the Giralon raise its fist as soon as you see that as a wreck raises a shield. Describe the shield. The shield's like one of those um, kite shields, like a Ooh, like yeah. a electro kite shield. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like. With lightning energy around cool. it, but it's got the emblem of um, what you call this, the manor and all that. So. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. It it slams its two fists down on the shield, and then it's, it swipes at it with a claw, and then finally it just jumps up with all, four, with all its limbs, and with a critical hit, all four arms go down and then goes through. To the shield breaking the shield just for flavor and you take yeah. uh, <laughs> you take 10 plus 4 damage 14 damage Dang. 14 oh, damage uh, your AC is still yeah. 21 he's gonna try to bite you one more time that will miss immediately the shield goes back up he bites the, the edge of your shield <laughs> And then you know, <laughs> the the lightning nice. trickles cool, trickles cool, across cool. its jaw. There you go. Ah, uh, that is that guy's turn. This guy okay. is still focused on the the dancing elf over here. He doesn't even notice the the uh, dark moon uh, coming from this <laughs> side. Gonna do uh, four attacks at Thalia. This guy does not have. Disadvantage, I believe. Uh, no, because yeah, no. only this guy has is the one in restrained. Okay, four attacks to Talia. Natural twenty. Oh, double twenties. No, no. Are you serious? Yep, I rolled a. I rolled a three, a seven, and then two nat twenties. Yeah. Oh, yeah girl. Wow. So two will hit. <laughs> And then this is damage. Uh, this is yeah. This is the damage. Oh, not so good on the damage. Oh, still pretty good. Can I reaction for the two that missed? Yes, you can. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll resolve that later. Down. Let me calculate damage first. Okay. Six, six, twelve, sixteen, seventeen plus plus two strikes. 17 plus 4 is 21, plus another 4 is 25. 25 okay. damage, so you're up to 32. 32. Damage. I shall. Uh, <laughs> can I bonus action and reaction? No, no, no. I can only bonus action on my turn. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I can take. I I take the damage. I'm, I'm, <laughs> almost there. Okay. Char. You're bloodied. Yes. Okay. Uh, so no reactions from you. He's gonna bite you. A reaction, now. What's your reaction? Attack. Uh, repost. Okay, go. Make your repost. Repost. Just try to think. No. She can second wind later. 
That'll hit. Nice. That hit. Yeah. Uh, add your superiority die to the damage, right? Nice. 13 damage brings oh. him up to 18 damage. Uh, so uh, two strikes will miss, boosh, boosh, but then both, both strikes, like two fists from the left, boosh, hit, and two fists from the right, boosh, hits to deal that damage to Thalia, but then Thalia just... Uh, ducks out of the way for uh, one of the initial strikes and then kind of like sneakily s strikes him on the side dealing that damage uh, the 13 damage all right uh, he's still just gonna try to bite you that's a 15 plus 6 I believe that will hit you so you take another I rolled minimum damage 1 but plus 4 so that's five damage. Uh, you are at. I'm in the dead. Thirty-seven. What? You're knocked out. I'm. You... I'm thirty-six. Yeah, I'm no, knocked, you're knocked out. out. Down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thalia. Uh -oh. uh, Bye guys. Being was sleepy. <laughs> she, sleepy. Like, uh, Let me just sleep again. I'm just gonna sleep. Today. I'm just gonna sleep here. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> there you go all right that uh and that guy's turn so he did the four attacks bite yes that's it cassandra you are up lano get ready i will finally get to use this spell i will use intimidation as spell slot spiritual weapon i'm gonna use spiritual yeah. weapon so yeah yeah. Uh, I'll g give you a placeholder for now, but next time you can send me an image for what your weapon looks like, and we can add that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, just right beside as a vet, and then like there. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. This thing, I'm gonna roll this. Wait, what? D8. I know, roll today. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. Oop. 16 to hit. Uh, That'll hit. Okay. And then. That's a 7. I still have a main. I know. I think I use my action now. You use your action to cast this. Uh, yeah, you use your bonus action to cast the spell. You can still yeah, attack if you want to. Yeah. So okay, you deal. Do uh, does I'm your spiritual weapon does nine damage? Go on. Seven. E. Yes. Seven plus. Okay. So he is at thirty-three. In and my math, there. right? Mm. Yes. Okay. So roll your attack with your hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna need to move a little bit close, I think. At least like here or there, yeah. <sighs> with them long limbs, that'll miss. Oh. It will. Like it will take the damage from your spiritual weapon, but it will block your war hammer uh, mm -hmm. as you try to strike it from the other side. Is that your turn? Yes. All right, Lano, you're up as a wreck. Get ready. Lano will cast Ice Knife. Ice Knife. This, um, do, 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 do that work? Uh, at this 50 damage, uh, monkey man. Okay. Uh, let me... Dang. Sorry, I keep forgetting how to do this. I clicked it in D&D in &D Beyond, but... Uh, do I do exclamation... Wait, let me see. Some... Spell, ice knife. Yeah, you can do that, so that... just to show the... Just to okay. show the spell. One. Oh. One Number enter. One. You create the ice, fling it. Create, I'll make a spell uh, attack. Uh, do exclamation mark. Cast. Ah, oh, there it, there it is. You cast ice knife. Oh, cool. So it's just waiting. So it's just, I guess, it's just slow. 
Uh, so roll damage, the damage dice for Ice Knife. That's 11 to hit, though, so... It just oh, explodes. that will miss. You're right. Good job, Azarek. I'm going to give you a Cloverleaf for reminding uh, me. Uh, Are you serious? No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Reward for honesty. Yeah. Good stuff. So that, that um, will miss, it, though. It misses, but it explodes. So Ooh. now they have to do a dexterity saving throw. Mm. Which one are you targeting? This one, 50, I'm right? I'm targeting the 50, yeah. And then within five feet of it, must succeed. So this guy needs to make a deck save? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so does Talia. Target because Talia is, because Talia is prone. Does, does Talia How still have that work? Yeah, you, I'm, you, I'm sleeping. I'm no, dead. you, you, automa <laughs> you automatically fail the save and you take the 2d6 damage. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Uh, uh, okay, you take the 2d6 yeah. damage, you oh, no, no, you no. automatically fail one death save. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's my bad. I didn't <laughs> think you'd be affected. That's all good. No, it's all right. The target, see, it says the target and each creature within five feet. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my bad, my bad. that's okay. Uh, we're learning. Uh, but this guy is going <laughs> to make a, this guy is going to make a deck save. We he rolled a uh, nine plus three. That I think that fails. Like twelve. What's your ace? What's your DC? Thirteen. Yes. Hold up. DC is. How do you check your DC for the spell? Ah, uh, here. Let me. Oh. In, uh, the yeah, it's just in the spell. Uh, here, I'll I'll check for you. Oh yeah, no, thirteen. You're right. I your it. spell says so. Your modifier is three. That's from your wisdom. Spell attack is plus mm -hmm. is plus five. Save DC is thirteen. That applies for all your spells. Gotcha. So he will fail that one, and then he takes the full two d six damage. So roll your two d six. Oh, that's. No, 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 that's 1d10 from the first one. So roll 2d6. 2d6, okay. Exclamation 2d6, right? Yep. He seven. takes 7 damage. So that brings him up to 25, am I right? Yeah, the target also has to roll, but he's restrained. So does he, does he have a disadvantage? Disadvantage on dexterity saves, yes. That's a fail too. So he also takes seven, seven. Nice. Still blooded. Very, uh, very close to death. <laughs> oh my god! There yeah. you go. All right. Uh, yeah, Talia, your koan ha. One L, zero S. One loss. I one F day, not one fail. Okay. Alright. Um is that your turn, Lano? Yes, sir. Gucci. As of wreck, you're up. Oh yeah. Uh booming blade on the uh ape man. Maybe have uh what's her name? Ruth help. Made up. Oh, right. Uh Hmm? Yeah, I can have Ruth out. Yeah. So Ruth's gonna fly in. And then, yeah, and then, like, just fly in front of this guy's <laughs> face. So when you do your booming blade, you have advantage, and, and Ruth's just gonna fly away. Oh. There you go. <laughs> so you make booming blade with advantage. He muted. I think he's he busy. He busy. Bam 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 bam. Ooh, natural twenty! Oh snap! Roll the march. Natural twenty. Boom boom boom. Critical. 
Nice. Oh. 18 Whoa. damage. Ooh. You see, uh, as um, Rick take his long sword. <laughs> All right. Uh, 18 plus 33. I'm, I'm not big brain enough for this. Uh, 33 plus 18. 51. 46. What are you talking about? Ooh. 1851, sorry, yeah, 18. <laughs> Thought it was 16. Whoa! As a wreck! Yeah! And boom, the, the ape will have a surge of energy trickle over its body, and it will go... Oh no. <laughs> Alright, good job, as a wreck. Uh, that's the yeah, end man. of your turn. What, are you, what else are you doing? Yes, that's fine. Gucci. Um... Okay, second wind, second wind. Second wind, okay. Uh, heal up. Do it. Roll your... Uh, I think it's a... Is it 1d10 plus something? Yeah, sorry guys, my dad and my brother just left. All good. Uh, second wind I is 1d10 plus 3. 1d10 plus 3. I'll just do that here. You roll here. Uh, or, you know, just roll a 1d10 on D&D Beyond. Then, uh, yeah, oh. so you only have one damage okay. na lang on you. Yeah. Gucci. Oh. Oh, nice. Gucci, Gucci. All right. Uh, if, if that's your turn, this guy that's it. is going to try to break free from this friggin'. No, you don't. No, you don't. He failed, yeah. He rolled a four and a five. Okay, um, stay down. He, he would have attacked, but, you know, Thalia's already sleeping. So he's just going to chill there, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, like, oh, one, one minute to go. He just, like, he's just, like, break, trying to break out. He's like... <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> if he, if he could if if he could if he could talk yeah if he could talk he would be like I'm tired <sighs> screw <Same. laughs> screw this <laughs> what, what are these two people who are inside the camp what are they doing they're just kind of watching? watching yeah they they had like they have like uh one has a bow ready and the other one is like preparing to throw throw daggers but. Uh, you guys, you guys seem to ha seem to have it like handled. Uh, so are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, they <laughs> literally down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, no. why you gotta be so insensitive? <laughs> Is this how you deal I mean, with your no, they don't. They don't know. They don't know who you are yet. So no, why would we're, we're we're saving them? They that... haven't heard of the blue man and the. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> are they just missing everything? What, what's with these guys? Are they like the um the stormtroopers <laughs> of your old wind? <laughs> uh, Can you imagine okay, like out of out of the game, they're just there because it. I don't think that you guys need help. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's okay. that's that's just it we'll out of game. Huh? <laughs> One of us is down, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I think you guys are fine. <laughs> so don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I mean... <laughs> yeah, ta if, ta if, it, if it comes to Salia's turn and she rolls a death save, and she, fail if she rolls a 1 on her death save, Salia dies. She's so. dead. Dunzo. Please um give her a healing potion. You can do that as an action. Okay. On, on your turn. And that and that's supposed to what? It heals you. Like I'm I'm like alive. You're again? alive now, yeah. Alert, awake, enthusiastic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I'm, same <laughs> magical feeling with Azerbrek last session, but like, guys, <laughs> I'm literally sleeping here. Like, what's happening? <laughs> okay, Dark Moon, you're up. Uh, Dark Moon, you are up. Uh, Salia, yeah, yeah. get ready to roll your death save, okay? Do yeah. I, wait, do I already have my one dagger? You already or have your one both? dagger. Okay, I got my other dagger. Okay, you're choosing to attack instead of heal. Okay, okay go. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do what you think is best. Do what Dark Moon would do. Okay, uh, I'm gonna attack. Okay. But first, I move here. Or, uh, no, 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 never mind. I stay there. And then I bonus action. Slice this, this gorilla man. Okay. So two attacks? Five. Yes, sir. Go for it. Two strikes. 16, 16 will hit. hit. Yep. That will hit your second attack. That will 15? also hit. Yay. Okay. Nice. Let Yay. me let me double check if sneak attack applies to to al if if your allies who are unconscious yeah. <laughs> work. <laughs> You don't need advantage on the attack roll if the, another enemy of the target is with uh, that enemy is incapacitated and you do not have. If another enemy of the target, if the attack mm -hmm. roll, you don't need advantage on the attack roll if another enemy of the target is within five feet of it and the enemy isn't incapacitated. Uh, so I can't. Yeah, because Thalia is unconscious, they are incapacitated. So, no sneak attack for this. All right. So, 7 plus 6 is 13. 13. Yeah, yes. 13 plus 25 is 38. Right? Yeah. They're, they look bloodied. I can't, I can't disengage, no, no. You, you cannot, because you use the bonus action to two-weapon fighting. Okay. That's I guess your turn. I'll stay here. All right, Thalia, make me your death save. Uh, don't. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. J exclamation uh, you mark can. Death. Exclamation mark save space death save. or just roll a d20. A d20, yeah. Okay. Uh, you're good. Nine. Yes. Yay. <laughs> All right. Can I just be wandering in in Rainbow Land? Okay. Sure. Yes. All right. Uh, uh, Sai, you are up. I cast Shatter on the same spot. Okay. There. Okay. All right. Uh, con I'm con 14. saves no disadvantage for these saves, man. No. Um, mm. I think they both fail. It's a five and a nine, and then the <gasps> con is a three, so that's twelve. What's your DC? Fourteen. What? Nice. Yeah, so both fail, so they take yes. full they take full damage. From Seriously, your shatter. Um, they hear like um, sharp screams. How many spells have you cast? Um, um, a girl. Two. Me? But my hex, I use it. Okay, you can move the feet. Mmm, really? Let me check, huh? Yeah. Fate touched. No, no, uh, yeah, yeah. Fate touched. Fate touched. You learn. First, uh, you can cast each without, without expend expending. Oh. Spell slot. Mm. Okay, so horot na yung spell slots because you did shatter twice. This is the second time. Yeah. Okay. We have a short rest after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Good job. All right. So full damage on both of them. Yeah. Describe the shatter. Um, they're like a woman scream and some girl shouting together in their ears okay and laughing at them Ooh. <laughs> i feel bad yeah, i love it <laughs> that would be scary. I'm uh, like, yeah. this 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 uh girlon is gonna just try to cover its ears with all its arms <gasps> and this one is, this one is restrained so he's not able to cover his ears and then his ears start to bleed and then <laughs> and his eyes roll back and then he goes 
and dies. Nice. Good. Okay. Good job. Uh, for my bonus action, I transfer the I transfer the hex to this guy. Got the it. One beside Dark Moon. Yep. And you're still choosing strength for the saving throw, or are you changing it to something? But can you change it to something else? I I think. I think so. I don't know. Okay. What, Maybe. Do you want to change it to something else? On sa imong attack dark moon dexterity or nabakay saving throw or something? Attack rasya oh, pulong. No. All right. Um. Just how about so? How about Lanu? Well, I, I'm I'm wanting to cast another another uh, entangle to keep that one. Uh, Mm. A strength, so if you keep it to strength, it's fine. All right, so I keep it to strength. Cool. That's your turn? Yes, sir. I go move beside Lanu. Cool. Lanu, you can yeah. so that this <laughs> has disadvantage. <laughs> gotcha, Artis. <laughs> okay, Roger great. That. Perfect. Okay, it is now their turn. Uh, them being very hurt and they see one of their comrades dead they're gonna go into an ape rage and then uh this guy you know was just like trying to swat away ruth and ruth was just like <laughs> and then he he takes the boom but like electricity is like surging around it it's not gonna move it's gonna stand its ground and try to uh, finish off Azarek. Uh, four attacks. <laughs> boosh, 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 boosh. Oh, damn it, shield. <laughs> so uh, he rolled pretty low. Those are three sevens plus three sevens plus six only, I think. So that's uh, <laughs> oh, never mind 13. That. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. But the 12, <laughs> 18 will hit. So you're not. You're not yeah, one will hit. Yeah, one will hit. The damage for that okay, is two plus four is six slashing damage okay. to you. Okay. So you're okay. at seven damage. And then he will try to bite you. Ten plus six is sixteen. What's your AC? Something like just, just sixteen. He will hit. So that's another six piercing. So you are at uh, 13 damage. Oh, that's 12 damage total? Yeah, 13. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that's his turn. He's angry you're not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna breathe down Shut on you. <laughs> Ew, bad breath. <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. There you go. Uh, this guy... <laughs> This guy is gonna uh, try to attack, attack you. Four attacks. Boosh, 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 boosh. Automatic miss for one. That's a one. These are low rolls. What the crap? Five they, they plus six is eleven. Nine and then fifteen. On other two. What's your AC? I think your AC isn't that high, Dark Moon. It is just fifteen. So two <laughs> attacks. Wait, Two attacks will hit <laughs> Dark Moon. That's uh, eight plus so that's eleven plus five is sixteen damage. Uh, so eighteen plus sixteen, you're at thirty-four. Are you still up? I'm not. Okay, How you're you? up. <laughs> down. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's all right. Keep over. It's a so the, so oh, this man. guy is going to move. Boosh. Uh, boosh. Oh. Boosh. And then. Oh, 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 someone go with Azerbek. Bite. Oh, bro. Try to someone, bite. Try to bite Azerbek. <laughs> That's uh, 6 plus 6, 12. That'll miss. You just see Azerbrek, like oh, two, two apes uh, towering over Azerbrek. Azerbrek with his long sword, oh, trying no. to block, dodging out of the way. Uh, there you go. Such an epic look right now. Cassandra, you are up. Lano, get ready. Oh, 
Golden boss. Wait lang ha. Okay, what what is going on? The next I just turned on there's there's two monkeys in front of me. What in the world? You know what? I'm gonna try something. Or sige, sige, sige. do that something. Do it. As a brick like, come on man. <laughs> Anything works now. Hopefully may tag my ego ni. If if it does, I will be happy. Oh, 18. Oh, my God. That's it. That's yeah. It. Okay, what is this? Mm. Uh, this is like a normal Warhammer attack? This this in the tunes. What? Inflict wounds. It's a what? Inflict wounds. Inflict wounds. Oh, inflict wounds. Ah, okay. Inflict wounds. <laughs> inflict wounds. Inflict wounds. So, that's a... Whoa. Whoa. 24. That's it. They're yeah. done. That's it. Go home. That's it. Overkill. Against Overkill. a creature you can reach. So it's just this guy, right? Yeah, only that guy. Oh, that is 24 okay. damage? That's right. Yeah. 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 This guy is this guy dead. <laughs> this guy yeah, dead. Why? Oh, spiritual weapon. Yeah, to attack this this other one. This guy's gonna attack this one. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Uh, Miss. <laughs> you, know what, you know what? I'm gonna be ballsy. I'm gonna be here. I cool. Fight me. Oh. Cool, yo. Okay, is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, while you're all having that turn, these guys are gonna insert themselves. They're gonna jump over this fence and scale down the wall, like kind of like running, running down the wall. <laughs> and then one's gonna go Whoa. over here to Thalia, and then the other one's gonna go like here, very stealth, uh, very like ninja like. Uh, uh, this one yeah, is right. gonna, this guy is gonna grab uh, uh, Dark Moon and Dark like. Moon. Kind of, kind of like a like a cool fireman carry, but they kind of they cartwheel <laughs> over your them. body. They cartwheel over your body, and then when they roll, okay, you're all, you're already on the their back on their shoulders. Have you seen that? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, cool. it's it's pretty cool. It's like it's like so so this guy runs down, and then rolls like does a does a cartwheel roll over uh, Dark Moon. Ho grabbing the leg and then grabbing the the shoulder and then as he rolls over to the other side dark moon's already on his shoulder and then uh, both of them uh end up like he carries her back here and then like he's just you know running on the wall side of the wall and then jumps over the the fence with dark moon and then this girl is gonna uh administer a health potion to thalia thalia you Heal for I think it's two D four plus something. Uh, to clarify, she's using her own healing potion. Yes, <laughs> ah, she <perfect>. is. <laughs> <laughs> don't you don't you worry. <laughs> We're on the back. <laughs> back. Oh, my Yo, excuse me, ma'am. Private nope. privacy. It, no yeah. touching of the bags. All good. She doesn't. Uh. 2d4, you heal for 10. Uh, so, okay. you're at 10 health right now. Nice. So, you don't need to on anymore. Roll death saves. Uh, you wake up. I and, am awake. And then Hello, she... World. And, and then she will say... She will say, Can you stand up or do you need me to carry you? Uh, who are you? <laughs> you are, and she will say, I, "You will learn my name later, but you are in grave. You are in grave danger." Oh. All right, all right. <laughs> she, you stand up with. Uh, okay, I uh, will. This is like. This is. This is like. No, this isn't like your turn. This is just like cinematic uh -oh. shit. So right. she will. She will climb up. Climb up the wall, but she. She, do, she doesn't think you can climb oh. with her, but she will like leave a rope behind her so that you can climb up this wow. area if you want. 
Uh, but that's wow, what you do. Thanks. So, Lano, you are up as a wreck. Get ready. Uh, Lan- okay. Lano, you might have saw- seen that, but as a wreck is like just too focused on what's happening here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Lano, you saw <laughs> those people point. come in and like uh, rescue your allies. <laughs> Lana's like about time. <laughs> yeah, I, I shout, I'm back. <laughs> uh, that's a relief. What do you do, right. Lano? Lano's gonna use a uh, bonus action to transform into a dire wolf. Oh yeah! Wow. Let's so go. Wolf. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna then... get that for you. Thank you. Boom! There you go. Boy, pakadra bro. Boy, pakadra blue bro. All right. <laughs> And then, breathing, breathing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's. Manu's gonna use the movement to go towards Monkey Man, who's still alive. Okay. And boosh, boosh. use my action to use Bite. And because of pack tactics, because... Uh, yeah, you get advantage. Name, yeah, as a brick is within 5 feet, so advantage. Yeah. And then... Yeah. So how do I? How do I? I'm sorry. I, I I need a cheat sheet. I'm gonna make a cheat sheet at some point. So I have okay. To stop asking. But how to do Sh- this? Show D20 okay, and add your modi- the tip. modifier of the beast. Thank uh, you, please. And do that twice. Twenty. Okay. Uh, modifier of the beast plus five. Yeah. Um. Do that One once D, more. D20 that's an, that's an auto five. miss. Oh, <laughs> both, both, both will miss. The you see Lano transform into a direwolf, <laughs> <laughs> and oh, she 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 try uh, uh he dr- tries to jump over here and then like realizes that oh this is this is bigger than this is. <laughs> Steeper than I thought, and then kind of like almost face plants, but then like tries to save himself. So uh, there you go. Oh, At, no. Because because this is weird. It's like your hind legs are like still above the the cliff side, but your yeah. front your front legs are like on the ground. <laughs> that's, like, that's what's happening. <laughs> All right, uh, is that your turn? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, as a wreck, you are up. Uh, one uh, one ape is dead. <laughs> this guy's t- blood. Do it, uh, Ruth. Okay. Do you want Ruth to help? Do you want Ruth to help? Yes, yes. Okay. I need her. I need her. Uh, st- okay. There's gonna be a point. I'm not gonna remind you. Okay. So you have to remember yourself. Roll damage, oh big boy. Let's do That's it. That's what's up. Oh fuck! Don't you, don't you just love it when the dice, you know, help tell the story? It's so great. <laughs> All right. As of wreck, as you you see, you start you start to real uh realize that your allies have been rescued. Uh, you see. These two large Girolan are are already dead. One remains looming over you. Uh, at this last moment, Ruth comes in, helps, and flies away. You you see a very slim moment to to make your attack. How do you end this? Nice. Well, you know, in Azovric's mind, he's like, no. Not again. And he just whips out his long sword and just decapitates this motherfucking ape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Clean. There you go. And Dead. while the body falls over, I stand over the body as well. <laughs> sure. As you, as you do. There you go. He stands over the body. <laughs> All right. Sure. Good job. Big claps. We are out of combat. Good job, everybody. Nice. Yay. The direwolf gives you a, a lick as a wreck. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Start spreading the start spreading the dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Ruth, <laughs> Ruth is gonna Ruth is gonna come in and be like, I'm <laughs> like swiping at the Darwolf's face. <laughs> Darwolf licks Ruth as well, like a big big, <laughs> a big like a big tongue just goes oh. over her face. <laughs> Oh, no. You know what, the big old bugbear. Oh, uh, if only I could lift this blue guy. Pero sige na lang, agbay na lang to, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, good job. Big clap. Big Yay. clap. Good job, guys. All right. Yeah, I have an extra healing potion for for dark moon. <laughs> Uh yeah. Excuse me. No, as you uh, as you as you arrive No, as you arrive Sally, you already saw uh, this guy already uh, was administering a healing potion for Dark Moon. Dark Moon you heal for 7. Great. 7 HP, so you're up. Uh but yeah, uh so combat is over. You killed these Giralon. Uh let's take a break, but you guys can already start uh figure planning out your next uh, plans right here. Uh, so let's take a break. Is, Pee, is this, drink water. Is this our <laughs> camp? Yep, this is Camp Piat. It's, camp. it's your camp. Oh, it's our camp. There's no one else inside, right? Except for us and those two guys. Uh, oh, here, let me show you. That we, that we know of, yes. Yeah, that you know of. It's just those two that you know. Uh, you heard a voice inside who was shouting commands. Uh, you haven't. That voice sounds like it's a female voice, but with a little bit more authority and like a deep, deep tone to the voice. But yeah, coming from inside the camp. Uh, but that's what you see. Uh, there you go. So take a break, drink water, pee, uh, snack, whatever. I'm a, I'm a pee. All right. Sai is sketching the okay. tent here alone while I go pee. Yeah, like, she's possible she's, she's sketching the decapitated girl on. Oh my god. With, with Azabrek standing over. You know what? Life drawing. Life drawing class. Life drawing class. Yeah. Where this would be happy. <laughs> Man, I didn't realize that Insect Woods did so much. Yo! That was a 4D10. Imagine if I hit all max. That's 40 damage. Um, but, uh, also, I got that nervous. To last blow. Yeah. I also got nervous. Okay, who do I heal? Why are these bitches down? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like living in the moment. Nah. You know what? You know the vibes. I'm not the healer cleric. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely not the healer cleric. If I wanted to heal, I could have been a life cleric. Life cleric is just fun. Big heal, yes. big heal. Jesus, Cass, do you, do you play Valorant, Cass? Nope. Should I? Oh. No, don't. Don't. Oh. It's a trap. <laughs> there, oh, there's morally questionable people in Valorant, I swear to God. I uh um I saw one of my friend she gave us a play and gonna she doesn't feel safe there though. Yeah, you don't, you really don't. Pero kaba ba kana ko baga ba ug lang? Yeah, you. I don't really care. Pero Why? yesterday, I got so angry yesterday. I was like, mm. <laughs> Why is it mm. safe? Why is it what? No, the the guys ba? Ah, um, you know. Gamer. The Intel, the Intel Core processors, the Incels. Oh. <laughs> Intel Core processors. <laughs> oh, <I'm> nice. <sighs> oh my God. I mean, I play with yeah, yeah. friends. I never play alone. I mean, I play alone, but I mute everyone. Okay, fuck that. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. scary. It's okay. People have bad mouthed me in college. Father is nothing to me. <laughs> Welcome okay, back, bro. Oh, hello. <laughs> We're gonna mute the bro. There. Okay. <laughs> Is everybody yeah. back? Uh, Is Chloe I'm back? Here. Chloe. I'm back, I'm back. Present. Oh, she's here. Oh, wait, what? I don't know if Chloe is back yet. Sai. Yeah, she, she went to pee. <laughs> 
breathing into the mic. <laughs> no, my joke. <laughs> you know what? You know what Sai said? She was gonna start sketching the dead bodies. I'm like, are you, are you okay? You're so morbid. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my coin cameras. Are the, I mean, why would you take so, a picture of a dead body in the first place? <laughs> why not? <laughs> you, you guys don't Lord? Uh, don't know Sai. Oh, by the way, um, just to get an idea of how close you guys might be already that's up to you but it took you it took you if we check the map again it took you guys uh since you came from koan mano uh clipe you only had to move like a little bit to go to that teleportation circle that you found right to teleport you to senke over here in Adin uh, or maybe even a Hafen I think Hafen would have a teleportation circle so Hafen and then I know Senke would be closer or is it? no 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 Hafen Hafen and then you would travel to this area so that's uh, one two three four five Six, seven. Then you go to chest. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Almost two weeks. So let's just say two weeks. Oh. So you guys have already spent like two weeks with each other. So mm. you guys decide, you know, how close you guys are. What information others might have why, might have discovered we about you. Teeth. I mean, I mean that's up to you, <laughs> but can I? Uh, We're but gonna can be I? like, oh, did you know that the first time I saw you, I was like, why is it blue? Sandra, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you don't just ask people why they're blue. I saw it now. I did. I even asked when I first saw you. I was like, why are you a cat? <laughs> you don't just ask people why they're cats. <laughs> Ay, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, sorry, yeah. uh, so a uh, little bit, I think, that you need to, that you would probably be curious about or interested. I'm sure Kato, I heard Mika ask if it was possible to loot. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah. They have nothing on them, uh, but I will have the ones who are remaining here. So, wala na si Tali o si Dark Moon. The ones who are mm-hmm. remaining there, you can make investigation checks or perception checks. Or if you want to learn mm-hmm. the nature of Giralon, you can also make a nature check. But those, my answer will differ depending on what check you decide to make. Yeah, because like, why did they attack here? And yeah. Be here? Okay. Investigation, perception, perception. Uh, Cassandra can make a check. Okay, uh, so no one ro- rolled nature, so I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna say anything about uh, the Girolans, whatever. Uh, Lano, you're just like you're, you're, dog. <laughs> what happens, I guess, is while you're uh, a dire wolf. Just all these smells rush to you, and you're just, <laughs> and you just you just miss the smells of of Gamaril, and you're just like not even focused on like what what am I trying to smell for again? You're you're just smelling everything. Good <laughs> well, dog. Uh, um, <sighs> Azivrek and Cassandra, with your investigation checks, you can see that as you're looking at the bodies of. Uh, uh, these Giralon, even Sai, you can see that the the scars and like the the attacks that were on it, there seem to be scars and wounds on them that were there before you guys attacked them when you when you guys were making your attacks on them. Oh, no. 
Uh, and so that's with perception, with investigation, you guys can discern that these aren't like claw marks from other beasts or other animals. These are also bladed weapons and spell attacks from what you might discern to be uh, other uh, adventures or other... Uh, can I make a check on the, what spells were used? Mm, I'll, or do you not want to get into that? I'll allow it, sure. Uh, you're going to spend more time there. Uh, so while you're... If you do that, I'm going to give... Uh, these two, th these people like chat. Okay, you did it. So these these guys will have a round of role play while you guys are spending a lot of time there. Okay, with your Arcana oh. check, um, these these are evo evocation spells, uh, damage dealing spells uh, against these creatures, and they're very similar to the caliber of spells that you and your party are able to dish out. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that's you can much. you you yeah. like you put like two and two together and you figure that these Girolon might have had an encounter with another party from that's representing a different okay. region that mm -hmm. is like uh, central or north from your camp. So most likely from tree. Okay. Sounds good. So it's not just us then. It, yeah. it wasn't just us that I yeah. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So you guys, uh, Sai, that is a very good observation. Uh, that is a great assumption as well. Mm. Uh, so you guys over here, uh, they kind of like let you sit on this log over here while they're like treating to your wounds and they're done, you know, and they managed to heal you up that much. And then they sit on these logs as well. And then uh, if you want to talk to them, you can talk to them. Uh, Dark Moon just thanks them. Okay. And asks for their names. Okay. Uh, okay. This girl will say, my name is Lin. And then this guy will say, and I am Lin. There we go. Okay. Quick quick recap i got the blue i got the blue screen of death <laughs> so uh had to take a break a little bit i hope this doesn't kill the 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 vibe if you, i hope you guys are still having fun yeah we got the vibe we cool, did. cool. We got the vibe also. We it, <laughs> it seems very obvious you got like just lano vibes everywhere <laughs> <laughs> She's but but that's great. Okay. Whew. Okay. Recap. Uh, I was so man. I was so scared if I lost the recording, I would have like had to recap the whole session. <laughs> no, we were then... we were going to story it near the bonfire. Yeah, or, or, or you know, yeah, we, were, we were gonna in character like try and like recreate the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, great! I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. But good thing we don't have to. Yeah. So you guys killed a a bunch of Giralon, to without you know, uh, without leaving without any. You know, casualties. some clo I mean, casualties, but you know, there were close calls. Uh, Thalia got knocked out. Uh, a Dark Moon got knocked out. But finally, uh, Azarek came in with a final blow with his long sword and a booming blade. A a that's great. Good job. Okay, you guys discovered from your investigation and perception checks here that these gear alone seem to have had a previous encounter with a different group uh, up north and you uh, presume it to be from the party from camp tree and sai made the smart assumption that uh, they might have been running away from them uh, they were being, they were attacked and they were running away from them and 
took took their anger out on uh, what they they saw to be perhaps like a similar settlement, and then they took their angry uh, they took their anger on on this settlement. Uh, so that's what happened. Can we delete all these? Landlords, no. I took. <laughs> so, okay. No. Last looks no. for the land. Uh, there. And then I. Yeah, I took. I t- we took screenshots already. So that's there. Good job. Uh, who, who drew those, by the way? Me. Okay. You get a, you get a clover leaf. Yay! Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah. Graffiti counts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get a clover leaf. Uh not it's not, you know, to encourage you to draw on the map, but you get a clover leaf for entertaining the group while I was away. <laughs> so, uh, so that's what you you get. All right. Sigi. Uh in the recording, the last thing that was recorded was these two characters introducing themselves. Uh, I'm Lin, and uh, now I'm Ling. And introduce and uh, and then they ask they ask you where do you hail from, travelers? Um, talking. <laughs> where are you from? Talking to Dark Moon and Talia, right? Yep, just yeah. them. Just you guys are still outside. <laughs> Uh, we're from, we're from, where are we from? From Piat. Yeah. No, yeah. we're not. Are we? <laughs> we, uh, we represent Piat. Yes. So, Lin, uh, Lin will say, ah, so you are the, you are the heroes that we were awaiting. You are early. Well, well, how did it, how did you manage to travel so fast? Wait, wait. Does she mean uh, or best friend. Like, like from the tree, or <laughs> no, not from the tree. Uh, they expected to arrive, you guys to arrive like in like two to three weeks. Mm. Uh, Whoa. You guys are so early. Uh, I just Dark Moon just shrugs because you know, friend. like she doesn't get, you know. She doesn't get that. Like, mana long early, cause so late, you know. Okay. Talia, Talia, Talia says we're built like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Lin will say, "Ah, yeah, I understand." Um, and they kind of look at each other, and then they're like, "No, indeed, they, if they are to truly represent Clipper, they must, they must be formidable cool. fighters. I mean, they, they bested three Girolon." That is a feat in itself, and Lin is also like nodding and uh, yes, yes, uh, agreeing with uh, her brother. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, uh, they're siblings. Yeah. So, uh, and then uh, Lin is like, uh, "You mentioned you were built like that. Does does that mean you were trained somewhere? Did you did you go did you go through a monastery? Like my brother? No, we, we were born this way." You oh wow uh, to be born with the power to to be born with the power to defeat Girolon that's amazing I mean my brother and I we we had to train for our abilities and then Ling like nods and then he says indeed we we trained the in the highest peaks of the monastery of uh, and then uh, in the monasteries and high, high up in the peaks of uh, between Gamaril and San Theo, uh, we. Um, we built our bodies so that uh, you know, and then he kind of stands up and then like um, you know flexes a little bit, but not in like oh, a wow. cock, not like in a cocky manner. He's like a proud, just he's just proud of like uh, how oh, they call him. Yeah. Uh, so you guys can you guys can discern that uh, they're monks. Monks. Yeah, and uh, they train in like the same. Uh, Art and kind uh, and then Ling will continue to say, "If uh, but I truly acknowledge your your strength and your group's resilience. Um, despite uh, despite 
believing that my sister and I can uh, are you know, you know somewhat formidable in combat. I do not think we alone would have been able to defeat those Girilon on, uh, on our own. So it is quite uh, fortunate that you came to came to us in such an early time. Yes. And thank you so much for healing me and my friend here. Oh, mm. you are you are very welcome. It's the least we can do uh, for rescuing our settlement and also for representing uh, Piat. We look forward to hearing more of your stories. And I think uh, now is about the time that we let your comrades in. Yes. Yes, please. Uh, all right then, uh, and then. Uh, By the, the way, do you happen to have ale, madam? Yeah. Uh, Lynn will say. Asking. Lynn will say. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we have some reserves. Uh, and Great. You may you may speak to our uh, cook here. His name is Yamsar. He is the lizard folk uh, who st stays by the tent over there. And then he, uh, she points towards like uh, this direction. Uh, so there's a tree here, and then the shadows being cast. And as, as she points there, you see uh, the lizard folk with a chef's hat. He's like sitting at like a stool here. Or like he just sat down because earlier he was standing with all the commotion. And you also see the back of this woman. And she's like walking uh, towards uh, the tent and then kind of kind of like gets obscured from uh, your uh, your view gets obscured when she passes like this tent here, and then she goes I'll inside. I'll ask Lynn who that person is. Oh, that that one is uh, Captain Elena. She is. Um, she will be sort of our um, commanding officer slash quest giver slash referee for the Gauntlets of Gathering. So she will be the one who will be in constant um, coordination and communication with the uh, other referees and captains who are scattered all around in the different cramps. Uh, and at the end of uh, each month, they will all con uh, convene with one another to report uh, the performance of each group. And then uh, at the end of the Gauntlet of Gathering, it'll be them who will uh, report and share with one another, and then it'll be decided who will be the victor for the Gauntlet of Gathering. All right. Yeah, and I'd say yeah. after after this uh, encounter with your Girilon, we can perhaps harvest some of their uh, some of their tusks and their claws, and maybe even uh, not let any of their meat go to waste. So we will be eating well for the next few. Uh, yes. A week or so, I believe. <laughs> yeah, you, know the vibes. you know the vibes. Yes, indeed, indeed. Uh, and then, where's the people that? Uh, Ling will, Ling will, uh, as Lin will stand up and try to go towards the door, but then Ling will kind of, uh, you know, put a hand out, and then Lin will sit down, and then oh, Ling will be the one to, to like, uh, open the open the gate. And then he'll go up here. And so you guys, at that point, you would have finished your investigations and whatever. And then Ling will say, uh, Hail travelers, uh, heroes of Piat, yes? That's right. My name is Ling. Uh, we are indebted to you and for rescuing us. Uh, your friends are safe. They are inside the camp. And if you would, join us, yes? Sure thing, boss. Um, Ling will will head back. You just follow. Cool, yo. Cool, yo. Ro I'll go to the cook and the chef and get some ale. Okay. Ling goes back uh, over there, kind of waits for you guys to enter. <laughs> Why's the dead girl? <laughs> okay. No, who's, <laughs> who's bringing the girl? Yeah. Okay. Starts dragging. I just starts dragging. Um, it's too heavy for you guys, but so I'm, I'm saying no. It's just to stay there. 
<laughs> so fucking weird. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me get rid of some of these things just to clear out the map a bit. Uh, so you guys. So those two people. Huh? Are they cooks? Those two guys down there. This one is a cook over no, here. No, just the green one. Uh, 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 oh, do you, you ask this? Do you ask that in character? So Ling will. Sure. Ling, Ling will say, "Oh yes, uh, this one over here that is Yamsar. Uh, Yamsar is Yamsa. our Yamsar. This one, Yamsar. Carry a little hat. He. Oh yeah. He is our lizard folk uh, cook. Yes, uh, he will be preparing a." Uh, I guess a gorilla stew for our um, dinner, our supper, and then fantastic. Over in that tent, this is the and then he will he will point towards this tent. This is the tent where we will be conducting our meetings and our plans for your your quests. Since you came at such an early time, we do not have much prepared, but there have been some. Uh, things that we wanted to get done and since you are here they might be uh, done even more swiftly now uh, our uh, the the sort of head of this camp uh, Captain Elena she went in there to make uh, preparations before presenting them to you and then uh, and then she uh, he points to over here uh, that over there is Lin. She is my sister. Uh, both of us are sort of acting as like the guards here. So while you are taking your rests, it will be Lin and I who will uh, take shifts during the day, uh, guarding and watching over the perimeter. And while you are out uh, questing and gathering um, whatever supplies that you may need for the camp or for the Gauntlet of Gathering, uh, Lin and I, Lin, uh, Lin and I will be holding down the fort. If you know, as they say, and your friends are over there. And then he. I wave to them. There you go. And he just walks Run. back, back and stands behind Come Lin. Come over. Why Join us. Early? When, why are you early? You're early because you guys uh, use the teleportation circle to s uh, to s uh, to skip two to three weeks of traveling in Athendil. That's right, because we're smart. Yeah, but we meant, we meant to we, do that. We don't tell them. So it's a, it's yeah, it's up to yeah. you guys. Yeah. Who made the circle? Who made us use the circle? Huh? Who made us use the circle? It was suggested by uh, Governor Elric von Sorensen, yeah. Oh. Okay. There you go. You guys are gathered would around. They, would they happen to know if there are other, like, other representatives from other places also arrived in their respective camp? Do they have, like, a telephone or something? Uh, you can ask them. Hello, Hello, madam. Oh. And then, do you have like a communication device that would confirm if there are adventurers already that arrived in their specific camps? Lin will say, "Oh, uh, uh not not us, not Ling and Lin, but uh, not not Ling Ling and I, but the captain." Um, communicates with them via letters and she sends her there, is, there are messenger hawks that tra travel between uh, the, the camps and it doesn't seem to be that all camps are complete but we are certain that um, Tree is already here I believe we believe um, Dva is also here we are not so sure if Adin is already in Gamaril, and it is for certain that Chieterie and Chest have not arrived. It was expected that they would have arrived around the same time you were supposed to arrive, so sometime two, three weeks from now. 
Okay. Say, um, Lana's like, say, how, how long, how long is this, uh, gauntlet of gathering supposed to be lasting? Oh, uh, usually it takes all of winter for you. Uh, we do not know. We, we've, we've never experienced winter. Uh, so usually it, it takes, or so we've heard, all of winter. So that's something like three months, four months. So you yeah. are, you will be here for uh, quite a while. Right. Yeah. Can we go meet the captain right now? No? Oh, oh, for certain. Uh, I believe, I believe she is uh, preparing your your equipment right now. Hey, <laughs> hey, I go. I okay. go immediately. <laughs> go like, <"Whoa!" laughs> yeah. yes, loot. Give me my loot. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, like. She really said, you know the vibes. Give me the I want to eat. What, what size? I want to eat. Okay. She wants, to, she wants to eat the, the, the dead oh, spider no. monkeys. What? You, you go over to Yamsar. Okay, so who is going who? Uh, who is going where? Uh, I'll go with Dahlia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I thank the siblings again, and then I go to the captain. Cool. I'm going with Dahlia and the rest. Okay, cool. I will also go to the captain. Okay, cool. I mean, no, Dark Moon's hungry. She's going to Yasmar. Okay, cool. Uh, Ruth is me. Ruth, Ruth's actually not gonna go with Azurvek. She's gonna like lay. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Lay like yeah. un, under she this. Yeah, more maybe. <laughs> Ask for milk or something. Ruth doesn't <laughs> eat. Hello, oi. She she doesn't need to eat because she's a a spectral being. <laughs> but oh. if you if you feed her if you try to feed her something, she's gonna you know indulge you or indulge herself. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> like, oh. they uh, see through. Actually, I'll stay here. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll do uh, Yamsar first. So we go. You get. You enter Yamsar. Yamsar is like uh, cooking over his pot. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A dash of salt and uh, <laughs> and like some mm. some water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's gonna be a stew. Uh, there's some girl on out there. I better cut up some some of their meat. And I gotta prepare the flies. I gotta prepare the flies. And he, tur he turns around and then sees both of you. And then he's like, "Oh, um, uh, uh greetings, I guess. Uh, uh hello." hello. And then stands there awkwardly. Please don't put flies in our food. <laughs> <laughs> but but why not? Flies flies are flies taste great. They they hold a lot of protein per gram. Uh so if I take enough enough flies, it's a lot of protein. It's good for the body. But, 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 for but, the but, muscles. But, sir, I sir, I, I I am allergic to flies. Unfortunately. <laughs> you're allergic you're allergic to flies? Yeah, 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 He's yeah, he, he like like inches close closer and then he puts a hand on your shoulder and then he kind of looks down looks sad and then he looks back up, up at you and he says i'm so sorry you're you're missing out a lot and can i can i use mage hand secretly and then take the flies away and throw it far uh, he doesn't. Oh, no. the The flies aren't. He doesn't have the flies yet. He's he's still about to prepare them. I will get the flies. <laughs> from... is, it, is it in a jar or something? Uh, you, you can see there's already there are already like jars over here, uh, with flies in them. You can hear like the buzzing a little bit, but right. he's also gonna catch more flies later he has like some empty he has some like empty jars still on the on the table here but he already has a few jars that are filled i will persuade him not to put in flies I make a persuasion check 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Dark Moon just wants milk, so can she go into the tent? Yeah, I'm sorry. We'll be like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Stop. Stops you. And then he kind of looks up, looks back at the tent and looks back at you. This is Yamsar's sacred place. <laughs> okay. You got... Look, look, what's above my head? And he points up at the at the above his head. No, no, no. What's above my head? Ha. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You're you're smart when pointing up side. No, it's no. my it's a chef's hat. Walk away. It's a chef's <laughs> hat. What's look what's behind me? What's that? It's a tent. <laughs> it's a chef's gourmet yeah. kitchen. <laughs> it's a it's a yes i'm an adventurer you, I yes you are pet. oh no 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 stop you stop you <laughs> no. this this is my sacred space i got the hat i'm a chef I, it's I a chef friend <laughs> oh no Okay. She really, she really do be trying it. Look at oh, this. Okay. <laughs> Ca cast your Delta. friends. Let's be friends, okay? I'm your friend. I will go inside. Because Wait, I, 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 I need to make a saving throw for that, right? Yeah. Sigh. Friends, what does friends do? You know, friends let each other go to the tent. They treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, concentration up to one minute. I have advantage in all charisma checks. Uh, so roll persuasion check again. You roll right. a 13. You might roll higher. 22. Not 22. That's right. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's going to think to himself and then he's going to be like, wait, 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 wait a minute. You look like... You kind of look like you're a chef yourself. That's right. I learned from the best of the best from but, my guild. But where's your hat? Oh, my hat. Uh, illusion, hat. illusion. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I quickly make an illusion of a hat. Okay. You just didn't see it. It's a... Is it I, on your head? You put it your on your eyesight. head, and then you put it on your head. I I grab something from inside my cloak. Okay, and oh, then I just put it inside. I was got back from a fight. I okay, to treasure the hat, right? You, <laughs> you you just take out take take. It's a minor illusion of a hat. It's a small hat because it's supposed to only fit like the palm of your hand. And he looks yeah. at it. Oh, it's a small chef's hat. Ah, yeah. that's why I missed it, and you're not wearing it because you gotta protect these. And he thinks for a moment, and he's like, "You should I, protect your hat." I understand. I mean, uh, I don't need to, cause like I'm here. But you're, since you're an adventurer as well, you gotta protect the hat when you're adventuring, and only wear the hat when you're in the kitchen, right? Hey, so okay. I'm gonna go inside the kitchen now. Wait, 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 wait! It, it stops you. It stops you. <laughs> And he says, this guy. if you're going to go in the kitchen, you got to wear your hat. That's our deal, okay? Yeah, I wear the hat. Okay, so you put, you put a minor illusion on your hat. There you go. Yeah. And then he, like, steps aside. Here you go. And he's so proud. Like, the, it's, it's, uh, it looks, it's just a tent. <laughs> <laughs> with a table and like barrels and like just scattered like uh uh like supplies all over the the ground he just put like a tarpaulin on the on the on the like forest floor and then like his stuff is like on it like scattered over there nah there you go yeah i'm sorry it's gourmet 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 chef's kitchen yeah 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 can I take the fly jars and then put minor ocean fly jars on the table? 
I will have you make a sleight of hand check. All right. 16. You can yeah, you can swipe the the jars away. When you minor illusion, I do not think you can you can leave it in a place. No, it yeah, has to be on. Yeah, but for now. At least he sees it. It's still there when I'm here. Okay, I'm gonna have him roll. Yep, no, he's like, he's just like, you were doing all those things and he was like still pointing at the, yeah, so over here, this is my ladle, my favorite ladle. Wow. And this over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I gotta get the jars. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, you got the jars. While you're doing that, I'm gonna move to a different, <laughs> different co- <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Uh, so y- you guys are there. You enter the tent. Yeah. <laughs> it's all so sleepy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, oi. You enter, and then uh, Captain Elena will look up and he say, Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you are the heroes from Piat, I presume. Yes, Captain. Uh, These are some of my colleagues, my friends. Welcome, welcome. Come okay. in. Uh, you may call. You may. You may call me Elena. You guys okay, on. Captain Elena. I duck. You duck. Yes, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and then Elena will will say, "I thank you for." Saving us just in time. Um, I do not know if we could have fought off those Girolan by ourselves. It was quite fortunate that you arrived. Uh, And then she looks over at her papers. And then uh, she reviews. Um, So, who is uh, Azavrek? That's me right here. Okay, uh, as of wreck, and then she like r- write on her paper. And who is Lanu? Oh shit, where's Lanu? Oh, where's oh, he doesn't. Lanu is with the, with the okay. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, he is the the lizard. Fo- is he a lizard folk? What? No, he's oh. a turtle. Oh, he's a ah a turtle. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> and then he. She she writes down. And then uh, who is Sai? Oh, Sai is, is eat. with yes with the chef with the cook. She is the she is the the one with the with the with the pink hair. Yeah yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. And then who is this uh, Thalia? It is me, and may I say, I really love your skin color. I think it suits you. I think you're really pretty, <laughs> madam, and it's really nice. Thank you so much for having us. She will. Yeah. She will nod, and she'll say, uh, she will say, she will say, thank you. I was I was born with my skin. Yeah. And then who is Dark Moon? <laughs> <laughs> Nods and like gives a little bow and smile. Ah, okay. Uh, that's a baxi. All right. And then you must be Cassandra. And then looking at this towering. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sober. Bulbaria. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, I welcome you. You are uh, the 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 pain quake club, the pain killer club. The, pa- the pancake uh, club. The <laughs> the pancake club. Mm-hmm. Uh, the best of the best. The best there is. So <laughs> she she will like write write on her paper. Oh, um, all right. I mean they they just defeated three Girolans. So what do I know? <laughs> pancake. <laughs> uh, pancake. What do I know? <laughs> uh, she writes pancake club. All right. Well, I welcome you uh, one more time. I apologize that the camp is not it's not completely finished yet. We we just did up we just did set up 
the tents and uh, do not have very many supplies yet. We were supposed to gather them within the next two weeks before your arrival. Uh, and you arrived early, but that also so we means... Will help you. Sure, sure. But that also means that once the quest is given out to all the camps, you can start as soon as possible, which might give us an edge uh, against some of the camps who do not have their representatives yet, yes? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And then she will say, uh, I have over here, and then she will like, uh, kind of like get, get a bag, and then uh, she puts, she lays the bag on the table in front of you. Uh, these, these are uh, some equipment that we hey! have assigned for all of you. Hey. And then... That's right, that's right. <laughs> so happy. Can we call? <laughs> like, do we have, like, like walkie-talkie for, for Lanu and for Sai? Sai, come over. You, know you can do it. You can go outside we the tent and, and just shout, yeah. I have thaumaturgy. I can do it. Let's okay, go. Okay, go do it. Uh, wait, wait, let me double check if I do. <laughs> well, I go out and I, you know, breathe. And then thaumaturgy, a voice is very loud. I'm like, <laughs> come here. <laughs> come here. Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So it's like, what? What's that? I, I believe someone's calling me. All right. Come here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lano. What? What is it? Lano will will role play your interaction with Lin and Ling retroactively later. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We can retcon it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete, Captain's looking for you. Cap Captain. All right. Let's Get in go. Here. Cool. Do, 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 you guys. Do, do, do. Wrong way. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. <laughs> Like making making room over here. Oh, okay. There you go. And then uh, Elena will will kind of like as you guys enter. Ah, yes. Uh, hello, uh, Sai. Hello, Lano. I am I am Elena. Nice to meet you. Nice yes. To meet uh, you. Likewise. I a mage hand. She will shake the mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so laying before you are some items and then she will call out for for as of Rick, you will have these and she hands you gauntlets uh, oh. these Ooh. gauntlets uh, these gauntlets look oversized uh, but when, <laughs> when you when you put them on if you do, okay, they kind of like shrink to fit your form of your hand. Mm. And if you want to f flavor it however you want, you can describe what the gauntlets look like now. Well, what's the, does the gauntlet change its um, appearance or does it like, what, what is it? Does it just fit or? Uh, you like, I'm saying that you. You can decide what they appear appear as, but when you receive them, they look oversized, and then when you wear them, it it uh, shrinks to as a Rex uh, fit. So you decide what it looks like. I say it looks um, got a bluish tinge, just to match the color, the skin color of. Uh, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, there's like uh, outlines of uh, gold and. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. I think that's all cool. I can see right now. All yeah, right, Gucci, that, yeah. Gucci. Uh, add to your inventory the gauntlets of ogre power. Ooh, power. And then, uh, Elena will look through her bag again, and then she'll take out. It looks like a a clip or a pin. And then uh, there's some decoration on it, and then she will give it on uh, to Lano. Lano, this is yours. This is the insignia of claws. Insignia of claws. Yeah. So Lano, add that to your inventory. Uh, you can also determine what you know the what the insignia looks like. Uh, it looks like 
I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let me think. We'll, 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 we'll talk about it later. <laughs> sure, sure. All right. Um, and then uh, Elena will say, "For Sai." Um. Yes, I am Sai. The Hello. she will she will take out a small pouch. And then from the pouch, she will open it, and then she will take out a so small ring that she will pass on to you. Um, I, I'm no mage myself. I do not understand what this does so much, but um, the, the ones who gave it to me just said that it's magical, so this is for you, I guess. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> uh, I guess. Yes, I guess. <laughs> oh, all right. I guess. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? Um, I guess. Cackling in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, so. What ring is it? Yeah, you add to your inventory uh, the ring of mind shielding. Uh, when you when you get the ring side. Uh, you can you can describe what it looks like, but it just like out of character as well. It it looks a little bit used. There's a there's a few scratches on it. Uh, oh. It it wasn't actually all these equipment look like uh, they're not brand new uh, because you know Piat isn't the richest uh, region right now, and some of these seem like they're hand me downs. Uh, from previous parties or even like uh, adventurers who have died before and then they just after bur like before burying them they they would strip them off of like they you know respectfully uh, strip them from uh, some of their armor and some of their magical items so that later adventurers can use them so that they don't go to waste you know is there a soul in the ring or what? Well, well, we can talk about that later. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. And then Elena will dig through the the bag again, and then she will take out a. It's like a cloth, a long cloth. It's very elegant, and then she will say, "Ah, uh, for ah, yes, for Thalia, this is for you." Yay! I, be I believe uh, they call it something like the, the the coat of, of. Protecting oh, okay. protection. Ah, yes, see, yes, you you know it more than I. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's what you add to your inventory, <laughs> cloak of protection. For Yay. for dark moon. Uh, these are for you, and then she takes out uh, a pair of boots that look Ooh. very very elegant. Even though they look a little bit worn out because they were used before. It still holds its rigidity because of the quality and the craftsmanship that was put into these boots. And then uh, she will say, everybody knows of the work of the elves and uh, this is one of them. And then she hands you a uh, the boots of elven kind. Thank you. Hey. And uh, for you, Cassandra, and then she like looks up, <laughs> big, big, big guy. She will actually like uh, look, take the bag away and put it down to her side. And she will uh, kind of scoot over around here to Thalia. Uh, ex ex excuse me, uh, Thalia. I, my apologies. And then she will go down in the table and then she will pull out something and first you see like it looks like a staff and then as she pulls Ooh. out the edge you see a blade at the tip of the staff and she puts it on the table and okay. here this was this was a, a previous warrior's uh, magical weapon it is a a glaive <gasps> so, oh, there you go so to your we were just talking about this earlier no yeah yeah so yeah. range, let's go. To your inventory, <laughs> add the uh, uh, glaive plus one. Nice. All right, those are your the magic items you all receive. Uh, Yay! And then yeah. she will say, uh, 
again, I am indeed uh, grateful for your service, and I am, I, I am proud to have you represent our, our region. I'm sure the governor will be, will be happy, and I'm sure he's very hopeful uh, of you. Uh, he, he's told me that he is hopeful this year. Uh, so spend the rest of the day um, recovering, recouping. I'm sure you had a long journey. Uh, the rest of us will continue gathering supplies. And when it comes nightfall, um, you take your well-needed rest. Uh, so no. the, the time ar around this time, it's like noon. So Yamsar would have pre prepared lunch for you. And then you can spend the rest of the afternoon uh, like, you know, just helping out around the camp or, you know, preparing, setting up your tents over here. Uh, the tents are set up already, but like in the map, but actually they're not set up yet. I just didn't want to make like a separate map where they're not set up yet. Uh, so you guys will be <laughs> setting up your tents for the afternoon, I guess. And you can hang out and then, you know, uh, do whatever. But... That's that. Okay. Uh, Lano, let's retroactively do your conversation with Lin and okay. Ling. Uh, so what did you want to do right. here? Well, I just wanted, I, I wanted to say, uh, say it's, um, it's pretty swell that you guys are here. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here at all. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, Ling will say, oh, yes, it is. Uh, um, we, we are here to make sure that the camp is protected. While you are out uh, going on to your quests, we will stay and hold down the fort. And at night when you are all resting, you can trust us to be the ones who are, you know, uh, watching uh, and changing shifts while you just have your full uh, night's rest. Swell, swell. Uh, you know, I, we appreciate that. It means we can put our full manpower to the, the gauntlet. Um, say, I got a question for you two. Yes? Well, what, what's in it for you? I mean, what, why'd you choose to help out out here? Oh, uh, it, is, it is our... It was the... It, it's sort of our... What is it? And they kind of look at each other. And then it was the assignment given to us by the monastery to um, sort of um, keep the peace within, within uh, Gamaril. And uh, we, are, we are not from Athendil. We are uh, from, from Gamaril. And our mm -hmm. monastery does not believe in, in, does not believe in interrupting or fighting uh, other nations. So although some of our leaders disagree with what the Gauntlet of Gathering is and what it does here, we do not want to exercise our power to stop them. We do not want to start a war. So our job is to make sure everything runs as smooth as possible with as little chaos and catastrophe as possible also uh, also Ling will say also and then Lin will say Elena is a good friend um, she has uh, been here in in the ancient forest way more often than any other Athendilo that we've met at least she she's always volunteering to to be one of the referees and the captains that are in charge of the camps here during the Gauntlet of Gathering. And we, we met her that way. Uh, and she has become a good friend. I see. Would you say that the other referees and guards at the other camps are from the same... Mm. Are the other guards at the other camps also from the same monastery? Oh no, uh, I believe we are the only ones who are uh, from our monastery here. Uh, the 
different camps have different systems. Uh, it's pos it's quite possible that the same mercenaries they hired to represent them are also the ones who act as guards for the camp if they are confident in their own uh, abilities. It is also possible that once they arrive here, then they, they then put out a call for mercenaries who are already within uh, Gamaril uh, to serve as guards and other extra help for the camp. Uh, but n there are no, nobody else is from our monastery who are staying in the other camps. I see. Well, we're counting on you. You, you may put your trust on us, yes. And they bow cool. their head, their heads. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I would also like to talk to Elena later on when, when there's time. Okay. So that was the retcon back here. Yay. Uh, you guys were just given your items. Uh, and there we go. We can do a few more rounds of role play amongst NPCs, amongst yourselves, I prefer as well uh, and then we'll call it a session after cool you know the vibes i just go outside and start swinging my glaive <laughs> oh yeah oh wow <laughs> test run cool oh, wait dark moon do you want a shield what do you want a shield are you able to use uh, a shield no no thanks bestie <laughs> bestie you keep dying <laughs> <laughs> Book up. I need my. I need both my high hands for blades. Just be stronger, Lul. And I'm Lul. strong. Oh, wait, who wants my shield though? I don't wanna. I don't wanna sell this. Who wants a shield? Just sell it and buy something else with it. But 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 but. No, for real, no one wants to shoot it, but that's no plus I, Yeah, no, I, I really don't need it. <laughs> yeah. I already have one. Well, okay, Rina. <laughs> uh, so you can she, hang she, on to it for a while. Uh, you don't know. That's true. She really said, she was like, oh, <laughs> I already have one. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Langa, anyway. can my cloak be green? Of course, it can be I... aesthetic stuff, you can do yes. whatever. Yes, just install nice. cloaks, kind of as a GOG chat. Ooh, ooh. Got them in supposed to. Ooh, wow. Oh, it's yes. Cool, wow. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, wow. Yes. That's sick. Do it. <laughs> Oh, cool. cool. You know do what? It, do it. If you get if you get down, Talia, at least you're fashionable. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah. you're if you're if you were to tank two two natural twenties, at least you're pretty. True. That's right. You know Sai, the you have to Sai, this isn't true, okay? <laughs> Not all of you have nineteen strength. What are you talking about? Gauntlet. Oh. Oh, because of Gauntlet of Gathering? Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> uh, 19 strength. No. Well, I'm close to it. It's as of wreck. All right. Uh, let's do this. Let's do Lanu's interaction with Elena. The rest of you can like listen in as well, oh. I guess, after this convo, or the ones who are staying. And then... We'll fast forward like the afternoon thing and then we'll do a campfire session like in the evening before you guys go to bed. Yeah? Trigger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So my strength twin. No no nineteen why why is your strength nineteen? After attuning the gauntlet in you nineteen, don't, yeah. You don't have that. That is for as a wreck only. I think you got the insignia claw. Oh. <laughs> I, <know it. laughs> I thought if you everyone wanted. gets a gun set. No, no. no. Oh. One each does get. One each, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you get the ring of mind shielding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I 
Gathering. 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 Gathering.
Lano, you can uh, just because you roll the highest roll and a history check, I'll give you something else that okay. might may or may not be related. All right, history oh, check. Fifteen. Okay. Hey. You you put two and two together when she was telling her story about when she was when she became a referee and mm. whatever, and then you think you think she's related to the governor. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Kind of like she she was so unsure of herself. She was like, hmm. Um, I'm going to push uh further out oh. Elena and and be like, um Okay. You know you know, after we defeated the Gorilladon we, we discovered that uh there there are some there's some marks. Uh they they did not attack the camp unprovoked. Oh, and then it, it must be those, the, it must be from Tree then. They, I, I believe, and then she kind of like takes out her map and then she mm. looks at where the camps are placed and then she, she looks at like where Tree is located in and then she says, oh dear, um, it seems that the camp of tree was or is rather located f very close to where the girlon usually nest so that might be the case when they set up camp they ran those girlons away from their homes i that makes complete sense yeah, I'd be I'd be a little ticked off too if somebody decided to kick me out of my home. Indeed. Well, well. Uh, do not worry. We did not kick anybody, <laughs> any anybody away from this place. And then, uh, she talks about like how it was appropriate that they chose a an elevated area for the representatives of Piat because the capital is like a cliffside capital so this is thematic <laughs> so there sure, she's, sure. she's 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 kind of like going on about that to like change the topic from the the <laughs> yeah all right all right all right all right i'll uh, i'll stop i'll stop uh, the push yeah all right uh if that's it for this interaction here, we can move forward a bit. You guys had lunch, a, a flyless lunch, and then uh, nice. you guys. <laughs> you guys the lizard pack. What? The flies. What fly? What? What about it? Wasn't this supposed to be the lizard snack? No, the lizard was gonna make like a stew for everyone yeah. and then oh, okay, the, la then. the last ingredient yeah. was like flies in the one big pot to serve to everyone <laughs> yeah thank goodness so, so fast forward a little bit you guys also had uh supper and it's like past uh like like 7 or 8 p.m already and then uh, you guys can put yourselves around the campfire here. I'll say that you guys set up your set up your tents already. And then yams are like how yams are like beds for the night is like the tarp that he he put like his you like his stuff on. Uh, he just transfers the stuff like all in a pile and then puts it on the table and then he lies <laughs> he lies down on the tarp over, over there so that that's how he rests and <laughs> then uh elaine this is elena's tent she rests there and then lin and ling uh although they have their own tents here they're kind of like uh deciding to, to chill sorry. outside here and then like oh. like gaze at the stars uh, before they go to Aww. bed uh, so that's what they're doing like that and then you, know what? Uh, you guys okay. are you guys can hang out over there for a bit and talk amongst yourselves 
right. How's that for a first day at Team Pancakes and Gamerol? <laughs> <laughs> Who decided that name? It's not too bad, yeah. It it's a great well, name. Um, should, let's do it. Should we get to know each other? I, I don't oh. know if you guys that much. <laughs> Y'all, this is too awkward. Y'all, Dark Moon, this is too awkward. Wait. <laughs> Uh, All right, I think this calls for some icebreakers. <laughs> and then we, we play games. You know, oh, oh, ice knife on the fucking bonfire. Man, don't you dare throw that ice knife on me. I, I see. I want to share. I want to share with you guys. I I told my sister about the first riddle. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Yeah. And her answer was, "Oh, it's shit, right?" <laughs> oh, that's, she's not wrong. <laughs> incorrect, but that's not quite the answer. You know, you know the oh, but if she had said that during the 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 riddle riddling, would that would have been it? <laughs> also, God I would have damn. I would have said that's wrong, but you get a clover leaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn, the woman over here is worth oh. it. <laughs> Blue man strong. Oh man. Under the flexes. Blue man strong. Very strong. Yeah, that was a uh, lucky, lucky D tw uh, twenty rolls. Also, yeah, last roll, but just in here. Come here, cat. I I just called for the cat. Come here, come here. The Ooh, I want to. <laughs> I want to do uh... a. <laughs> Nah. Lana wants to do a, a, a little druid craft to predict the weather for the next 24 hours. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, uh, do you have to make rolls for that? Trip. Uh, nah, I don't think so. Okay, it just, let me see. It's just like a tiny thing. Druid craft to predict the weather. You... I don't think that's a thing. Is that a thing that I hear? It is a thing. Yeah. Okay. That predicts what the weather will be at your location. Okay. When you wow. when you do that, the effect might manifest as golden orb for clear skies, a cloud for rain. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, you you do druid craft and manifesting. In Lano's palm is a golden orb. Ooh. All right, folks. Yeah. Looks like clear skies for the next Yay. twenty-four hours. Yeah. Look at you. You're, cool. you're a little crafty. How do you go from turtle to wolf real quick? I'm asking this in real time because I don't want to break the oh. motion. You know. Uh, sorry. Here, I'll show you, and I I transform into a, a wolf just just like as slowly as I possibly can. Oh it's no. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I, I just, I just like, cover a root uh... eye. The roots don't look a bit. The roots don't. I shield the poor cat's eye. <laughs> de de describe how that looks like. <laughs> slow, <laughs> slow transformation. Oh, my, <laughs> my, my, my face kind of like deforms like. Like that, my my eye like moves to the side, and then out of my my skin, like little furs just kind of like peek out from it, but like really kind of gruesomely and slowly. So you can like usually you it would take like you know a couple seconds and you wouldn't be able to see it, but this was just like painfully like like hairs growing oh, out oh. <laughs> from <laughs> and my 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 my. <laughs> My teeth kind of, my teeth come out from my, my mouth, like the, what do you call the fangs, like, come out, yeah, and then there's kind of like, you know, a little bit of blood, because everything's like rearranging itself. <laughs> what? There's a little bit of blood? Yeah, blood, because my, my, my body is rearranging itself, like, and so it's kind of like okay. tearing. Okay. <laughs> Would, would like to have the turtle back, please. <laughs> All right, I turn, I turn back and I'm back. like laughing. Under the knife, I'm like you. Disgusting. Like hey, hey, he has. Uh, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> you know, you know what? You know what? I didn't need. I wish I didn't eat dinner. I didn't need to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. 
Absolutely disgusting. Also, that one. <laughs> Yo. Um, do, you, do, you uh, fancy, do you fancy the monk? I have a boy. <laughs> Oh, oh. Ooh. you didn't you didn't tell me this. Wait yeah, a minute. Dark Moon has a boyfriend. What? Whoa. Oh, see. Come on, Dark Moon. What's he like? like? He is the oh. the boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. is it the blue guy? Because he wants no, not the blue, blue guy. Not the blue guy. Okay. Okay. It's right. not the blue guy. <laughs> I have a, I have a what? picture. Ooh. Yeah. Can I ask ad- advice from Dark Moon about <laughs> love? <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Ooh. Oh, damn! High noon? Dark yeah. Moon and High Noon. High Noon and Dark Moon. High Noon. Ah. High noon. <laughs> That's it. High noon. That's the ticket right there. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> Cassandra's getting some ideas, eh? Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not the best friend, not knowing. No, no. Did you send did you anything, say, anything? You didn't say it's anything. It's in dice tree. No, no, no. I not, yeah, no. Oops. Sorry. Yeah. I mean... This is him. Dark Moon, you don't even, you don't even notice, but I have two other siblings. <laughs> oh! She's a little yeah, I have, I have, just letting it all out. I have two other yeah, Dark Moon says, "Oh, I have six siblings. I'm the eldest." Okay, go as a friend. <laughs> um, I have nine other siblings. Nine. Oh, y'all are insane. I, I think I think it would be I would have a different gauntlet of gathering with, between my siblings. Uh uh. Well my well my father actually died, Sag. Sag. No. But it's okay, I have a stepfather. He, is, he, uh, he that's he's pretty it's pretty weird because my my siblings and I are white haired folk. But he's a redhead. <laughs> and they recessive I, genes. I mean, you know the vibes. We're all fabulous. You know the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> also, I have a, I have a something to wear for tomorrow. Okay. Oh, outfit. Me, me hinting that level five appearance change. Keck. <laughs> Keck. Also. I wonder where that stupid Leonin is. Ooh, it's all has a crush. It's ever the thing. Whoa, now. I no white woozles. Um, I mean, the Leonin's pretty cute. Wait, what? You didn't hear from me. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? I I totally didn't raise his hair for anything. Stop! I swear. <laughs> Hmm. I wanna ask DK, Dark Moon, something. Yeah. Dark Moon. Yes. What is what is a boyfriend? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Dark Moon. What? <laughs> explain what a boyfriend. Yeah, what is a boyfriend and what do boyfriends? What is this do? being? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what do boyfriends do, Dark Moon? Walks away. Walks away. <laughs> I cast friends on Dark Moon. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> Tell me. She, she's she's typing. Ah, there. Ah, uh, uh, fair enough, fair enough, yeah. No. <laughs> no. You can just type it out if I, you I want. I cast yeah. message on to Dark Moon so that Magdalas does hear me. Uh, I know, but she says it out loud. She <laughs> says it telepathically. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's not shy. <laughs> okay. Has he been nice? Is he tall? Is he rich? Is he a little bit of a... Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't have his story yet, woman. Okay. Oh, okay. So, we're going to the part. Yeah. The part. So, you're just going to tell me filler content. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, oh my boyfriend is... Dark Moon. And want to learn about the ways 
No way. <laughs> so, so. Okay. But like out of so character, I'm, to... I'm I'm working on an but... ocean page for Dark Moon. Yeah. Yeah, for I can put all her info there, all her like about all her siblings, her her history, her family history, things like that. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Nice. Yeah. Also, and like maybe we can all we can all do that side for yeah, our yeah. characters. Yeah, you know the vibes. Yeah, you know yeah, the yeah. vibes. The vibes. I pull out something from my bag also, and it's a purple brim hat. I'm like, oh, this is what I'm wearing tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, gonna be fancy tomorrow while hunting. Very fashionable. Okay. Nice. Y'all, y'all, Thalia, what about you? Do you have a, do you have boyfriend? Uh, boyfriend? No. I, nobody got time like? for that. What? Uh, what? <laughs> what? What? No, we're yeah. friends. Let's, okay. let's not. What about, you, what about you, Lano? Any girlfriend? Yes. Um, Death. <laughs> anyway, I think she just doesn't want to talk about. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'm trying to, I'm oh, trying to do filler. I'm oh, trying to do. Oh. Can you hear me? We can't hear you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Hello. 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 No. <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> or no. boyfriend, you know. You know the vibe. No. The game uh, but but I, I do hold something close to my heart. Uh, and I need, and I, need, I, need, I, need something, I have something serious to tell you guys. Uh, uh, are you okay. pregnant? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell so I'm gonna get real quiet and then I'm gonna say, um this this place is my home and uh, I I want to help the people of Piat, but I want to ask you guys as much as possible to minimize the damage to the forest and this place. Oh, and, and to respect the creatures. Oh. Wow. Oh well, the good thing you said that because I was about to go on a rampage. You know yeah. the vibe. <laughs> Wait. So Dark Moon. Dark Moon. Like Dark Moon's gonna ask. Like, so what about the what's the one in the the spider monkeys? The gorilla dawn thing. Yeah. Uh, well, in in nature, it's natural to protect oneself. But I do know that they were here um, provoked by another. So, I. I mean, I'm still true. thinking about that. Um, that's true. Maybe. Yeah. yeah Dark Moon that? apologizes for the, the things. Yeah, same here. Also, do you think that whatever whatever triggered those things, do, do you think they live? I I think it was I think wasn't it the It was the other camp, so a different camp. Uh, yeah, it was Trees. Wait, Trees? Where's my notes? Tree. Tree. Trees. Tree? Trees. Just tree. Tree. Not tree. Yeah, tree. Not tree. Oh. Gerolon. Gerolof. Tree. Yes. T-R-I-E. Spider monkeys. It's easier to call them spider monkeys. Well... Can I sit next to uh, a level? I'm like, um... I want to ask Lano a question that I've been wanting to ask since the very <laughs> first, uh... <laughs> This is the very first session. <laughs> oh man. Um, so, um, Lanu, I've been meaning to ask you this. Uh, yeah, what is it? <laughs> the hat. How, how, how does the hat stay on? You change into <laughs> these different things, and I've never really understood why it's there. Well, Is there uh, the hat. The the hat. <laughs> Is it magical? Does it contain properties of great power? Well, well changing in the beast, see, like uh, anything that I wear can become part of the beast. But uh, like, how does that hat stay on? The hat's just the hat's just a hat. Uh, and then I I, I back away. Um, don't don't touch the hat. All right. <laughs> like. <laughs> so you touch the hat and you change it. Don't touch the hat. <laughs> what? What did you say? 
I'll attempt to <laughs> touch the hat just to be like, you know, curious. Uh, but I'm I'll, not gonna I'll touch turn, it. I'm just gonna I'll, attempt it. Yeah. You're gonna attempt it. I'll turn into a, a dire wolf and I'll I'll growl. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and then so I'll, this is I'll fucking, where, the where's the hat? Where's the fucking hat? Where is no, the, the fucking hat, becomes, Ladder? The hat becomes part of me once I turn into a dire wolf. It becomes part of me. But uh, telepathically, I'll say, "Don't touch the hat." <laughs> to you. Just growl. <laughs> you just yeah. Have, so you just don't have the hat outside Grab of your head. Alana's fur. I see. With May Chan. Oh. oh I just fur. Fur. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is this the hat? Oh, it's it's <laughs> <laughs> the, the hat is not there. The hat is everything. <laughs> I am the hat. I am the hat. I turn. Oh, I turn I back into Lanu. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Well, was, I mean, yeah. I asked. I asked Dark Moon this. But why are you blue? Where did you come from? What are you? Yeah. Do you ask Dark Moon if she's blue? No, you. I love red. Oh, you asked me if I'm blue. Why I'm yeah, blue? Yeah. Um, it's not really by choice. It's more of um, it's my race. Really, it's it's my race. I can't. I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's just my race. What is your race called? I'm sorry. What's your race called? Oh, um, I come from. My people are called uh, the Dalkins. Oh. I've never met a Vidalkin before. Oh well, now you have. You've you've been with one for the past month, so. I thought you were just blue. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. That's cool. You're okay. I mean, that's true. I was born like this, but the, my fellow bugbears tell me I'm too. I weird attempt to, look to turn my hand blue. Oh. oh. Secretly. <laughs> Secretly. Oh. Because <laughs> if you see this, is like, what is happening right now? We're just like, wait, oh. what? You can make a, you can make a stealth check. Oh, I will right. make a stealth oh. check. No, no, no. Uh, see, Sai, stealth right, okay, or okay. stealth or Not sleight of hand. Hey. <laughs> You guys, you guys do not know, know notice. You're too oh, like, damn. you guys are too invested in talking about race and boyfriends and all those things. Race and boyfriends <laughs> and the dead air. Okay. Well, I got told I was too pretty for a bit to be a bugbear. So uh, <laughs> wow, that's your uh, that's your sob story. Yeah, honestly. I think Did you I'm ever think away. of coloring your hair another color? Um, well, that is a very co good question. I have a lot of hair, as you can see. I have hair here, I have hair <laughs> in places Ooh. where... Uh, we, we, we don't need to know. We don't need to know. No, my arms, my arms, my oh, your arms. arms. <laughs> my arms. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> <You're so disgusting. laughs> I was going to need the arms. Five feet. <laughs> what? Can bugbears be short? Oh, no. Mm, I haven't seen a short bugbear, but I'm definitely one of the taller ones. Ooh. Yeah, the I think the shorter ones are like six, six something. Yeah, it's just, they're the same height as the blue guy. They're never mm. below six feet. If you're a bugbear and you're five three, there's... Something hmm. wrong. <laughs> All right, noted, that. noted. I didn't say that you did. <laughs> but... I take notes. I will. I will yeah, ask but... Sai why she's very into sketches and likes to draw people, especially yeah. Lanu. Yeah. What do you like? What do? You, why don't you draw me? Hello. Um, uh, Sai uh, blushes in embarrassment. Um, um, uh, uh, she doesn't know how to reply. Are you and then after thinking about it, uh, she says, um, someone very special to me taught me how to draw and oh. the beauty of drawing and painting. It is very special to me. Ooh, oh, is is this someone like your family? Your, your boyfriend? boyfriend? 
<laughs> I don't know what a boyfriend is. Sai is, Sai is clueless. She doesn't know like what what love is and stuff. Oh, so that's why she asked. <laughs> what is love? <laughs> it will hurt me. Yeah. So she says, um, maybe he's family. I don't know. He is. Oh, it's the he. Yes, I think. Maybe. You think? You think? We'll never know what people really are unless you what like know what kind of race they are. Profound. No. You don't know no. race. I, I mean, you're human, aren't you? Yeah, aren't you human? Yeah. Yeah, mm. of course. But I'm not sleep here. Do you not go out of the Do you not go out of the Do not go out of the down. Tell me. Why are you... You're, you're, you're kind Why of... Why would you ask me that? I don't know. <laughs> inside check, inside check. <laughs> I've never seen you. You can... Okay, if you guys want to do this, you guys can make inside checks and clearly... <laughs> Sai can make a deception. Deception. And yeah. you guys you guys DM this by yourselves. Oh now we roll good. <laughs> now we go. Deception. Come on good. Oh I use guidance by the way. That's my plus three. Tang who? I win. Yeah, I win. I win. I want to grill her, but never mind. I think she's so cute. But she's like, I feel like there's something. I'm perfectly off. human, and then I stand up and make a twirl. <laughs> oh, pretty you're human. Okay, well, you're human, I guess. You just don't go out, I guess. You don't. You don't see the the light of day. Yeah, she be pale. <laughs> no, I've been that. two places. You know, I'm just so happy I'm not, I'm not in the catacombs. Is that the proper term for my? Yes. I'm sorry. What? Catacombs. You live. Are you alone? To live. Woman, Bestie, are, are you a zombie? Bestie, you just spoke about race. I told you I'm a bugbear. You be a zombie bugbear. No. Bugbear is in catacombs. Well, that what? That new? I did not know that. Are you undead? I don't know. I'm oh. sure. <laughs> I'm asking. I am. I devote my time and effort to a brotherhood of necromancers, and oh. you know, the, you know, the, you know the vibes. It's it, it it do be a little smelly sometimes, and it's so nice to be out and about. It do be a little smelly. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah, you know these these bros don't know how to you know keep it cute. They don't know how to <laughs> let it smell good. Yeah, disgusting. So that's why disgusting. if I see if I see dead bodies, I am not phased. Mm. But because you're around dead bodies so much. Yeah, and I'm pretty interested in the aspect of what happens after death. Mm. Oh, I what thought happens? you were going to say you were... What I thought you were going to say you were interested in Ling. Oh, wow. No, he has a crush on Kwan. What's his no. name? Leonin. Leonin, the Leonin. yeah. They're the really Leonin. projecting. Maybe you like, maybe you like <laughs> him, huh? Huh? You keep Dark projecting. Moon has a boyfriend. Yeah, so <laughs> you're not paid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I said that. And yeah. what? Dark Moon just rolls her eyes. Yeah, that's right. But, <laughs> but yes, I'm very <laughs> curious. I'm still learning how to do it, but hopefully I can resurrect the body. Whoa. To bring your dad back. Whoa. Well, you know what? Cassandra just, just starts crying. Spot on. No, no, no. This eight foot bugbear just crying. Uh, like, <laughs> you guys make Mad. Cassandra cry. Yeah, Dark Moon is unfazed. She has many siblings. She is the eldest. That's right. 
crying doesn't phase her. <laughs> I can't believe it. Struggling. You won't, you won't console your bestie. I, I will pat whatever yeah. part. Na ako ma reach nga ma. Take off the back. Yes, you yeah, your back, Talia. Yeah, you can ma. reach my back, can you? As, yes, because I was, I was supposed to pat your head. <laughs> yeah. I probably can't do that. So. Yeah, dark whatever moon, that you reach. Dark moon just starts braiding Cassandra's hair. Uh it's like, Ehh. anyways. He, he immediately stops crying. It's like, anyways. Yo, what do you want to do? Y'all anyway. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'm so worried, but I kind of... What's going on with the roof? I'm kind of uh, confused with... Do we actually want to, you know... Like, what's the good thing to... Uh, uh, yeah, like this entire thing, the the gauntlet of gathering, but because with Lanu's revelation, what do we actually do? Like, how are we supposed to to get supplies without damaging or yeah? Mm, like, I don't know what I really feel about it. That sounds like a conflict of interest to me. Mm. Within Gamaril, right? But we can get and get supplies outside. Yeah, because they both were supposed to get supplies and send we're to Atendil. We are mm-hmm. supposed to help Piat. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Getting, they're struggling economically. Yes. There must Let's be a way... To minimize the damage. Yeah. Well, there's a way to take from the Earth without destroying it. Yeah, well, we'll plant new trees in place of new... in place of basic <laughs> Yes. Yeah. You know, I definitely have a rotten touch. I will try to avoid. Yeah. I will try to avoid touching trees in combat. You know the vibes. Yeah. But can we, like, talk to a a government here in Gabriel to make peace with Athendil or something? To just avoid this entire chaos? Don't you? Do you? I mean,. Possible, yeah, maybe. They, they would have done that yeah. a long time ago, and we wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah. But anyway, so... when, with whatever I think moving forward, if we come across or any encounter with, you know, Gamoral people, maybe let's do, let's have Lanu speak to them first. Yeah, and then if it won't work, oh, yeah. just take out my glaive. <laughs> yeah, the negotiations first beat beating later yes but i wonder because mm-hmm. tree is still next to the nest of like i feel like the first thing i want to do is make sure that the, they're not harming the uh Checking my notes Wild for the Wolf? name. Gerolon. The Gerolon. The Gordon Ramsay. What's the ground rules on encountering other adventures? Are you asking me? Are you asking me? Yes. What do you mean ground rules? When you meet like, them? Can, yeah, if we cross a path, like what uh, what happened so with this we... with this new new like rules that the the committee has been trying to develop they're trying to mitigate that cuz the years before whenever uh, adventuring parties meet with one another there's always like a clash or you know one stealing from the other or sabotaging the quest of another party so that's where they're trying to like separate the groups as much as possible um, so when it, the usual rule is, well, first of all, it's very unlikely that you will encounter another adventuring party. Uh, El- Elena would have explained this to you like the next day, but I can tell you now, like just out of character. She will tell you that each of you will be like each of the camps have different sets of quests just to make sure that you will not end up like uh, meeting each other. So all each camp is given different quests so that you don't you end up like in different locations in the within the ancient forest. Uh, so that's 
very unlikely that you will meet them. However, if by chance you will meet them, uh, you are not supposed to like interact them, interact with them if you can. But if you have to, because it's an emergency, like you're running away or you're you're injured, you can stay over at their camp for uh, as long as you need to. But cannot like you're not allowed to steal from them. You're not allowed to uh, look through their own plans and learn what their quests are. So just to avoid in the future, you know, sub- sabotaging what their quests are. So those things. Uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, and the uh, winner of the Gauntlet of Gathering, right, is just whoever gathers the most. Uh, yeah, and it's very, it's very, very sub- subjective, which is very like the time period to judge this takes a while, takes like weeks. So once all of you, after the months that you spent here, you spend here in Gamaril, and you go back to your regions it's gonna take like a few weeks for the judges to determine and lots of like arguing back and forth uh, Mm. between the regions to determine like no like our region gathered the most like i don't know ore or like special gems whereas like another team might might say no that's true but you can't eat gems we our our region we got gathered the most crops and and like food, uh, but you can't do anything with gems. So, you know, that's mm. those types of arguments. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we know that. Um, go ahead. One, the quests are one, catered now. Palayo juta sa uban. That's us to stay away from the others. I mean, if we're literally forced to. Keep it civil, I guess. Okay, kapo yeah. yeah, but yeah. like for example, yeah. that we're gathering mano, so we're we're taking. Maybe we should like figure out how to find seeds or something so that that I ma mm. give also after every quest. I mean, the main point of the gathering is to have like supplies for. It's like a it's like a bandage for the oh, yeah. problem of of not having any supplies, right? But if if we can find a way to like not need the bandage anymore, that would be the win win solution. And we would win the gauntlet if we if we make the gauntlet not needed, then we are automatically yeah, we'll the winners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will be overall champions. But like, ah, ah, you know the vibe. <laughs> you don't put the bandage. Yeah. You just. You just have a so that is our the... goal. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, damn, we fe- feeling like you and I. Can we pick the tents? Yeah. Where we it. will sleep. With with that conversation shifting from like the the small talk with the boyfriends and what race <laughs> you are, where did you come from? <laughs> Back but to. We never got to Kuansai though. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. In another day, and we'll then get you. Fin- <laughs> finally, managing to talk about uh, the Gauntlet of Gathering and what you're actually doing here. Some of you probably, some of your characters probably questioning your morals a little bit, learning of Lanu's uh, true uh, identity yeah. and like intentions as well. So uh, all of you are realizing that this is way bigger than what uh, people think of it uh, back home in Athendil. Yeah. Uh, so the night draws on, uh, Lano's getting sleepy, uh, uh, Ruth is straight up just sleeping over the, the fire. She's in her like, <laughs> she's in her like half and half ethereal form, so it doesn't affect her so much. Uh, and then Ling and Lin have already like decided to bed for the night as well. Uh, they're oh. uh, what are you what are you talking about? They were, yeah, they were stargazing over here, and then they got tired of. Uh, they got tired, so they went. They got tired of listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but 
uh, you know, they're still awake. Uh, they're just in their tents, or one of them at least. And then the moment you guys pick your tents, you guys pick your tents, uh, Ling mm-hmm. is going to go out knowing that you guys are about to bed, and then he's going to take watch tonight. Yay, thank you, Ling. Oh, yes, uh, indeed. Uh, do not worry. Uh, you must recover. And he will be confused as to why there's a cat that's in the fire. Stay I pick up Ruth. Okay, why you pick is up Ruth, Ruth over there? <laughs> this crazy ass cat. That's the actual <laughs> fuck are you doing? Uh, <laughs> okay, where do you guys... Okay, so... You guys got last pick. I'm sorry. It's because you guys can't. Co- you guys don't have control of we your characters. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I'm okay with wherever. Anyway. Okay. Where am I? Uh, I can't be in the middle of Sai and Lano. Okay. So yeah. good. I'll be with uh, Cassandra and Dark uh, I'll be in between. Yeah. Huge um, door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rolls like on her shield. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right. Yay. And with that, the night draws to a close. Uh, the forest darkens and the jungle surrounding you uh, grow silent for a bit, but you also hear, you know, the occasional or the constant cricket noise and uh, some growling from distant animals hunting other animals as well. And then you hear the rustling of uh, the leaves from the trees and the bushes around you. And for the first time uh, in a while, this is one of those nights that don't give you that winter chill. It's very comfortable. And the soft grass underneath your sleeping bags also add a little bit to the comfort. And the smell of uh, grass and earth uh, fills your senses. And uh, just the fresh air is very, very different from uh, when you had your nights over there in Athendil. And the... Pancake Club sleeps and rests for the <laughs> night, and tomorrow another adventure awaits them. And that's where we're gonna call the session. Yay! Big clap, big clap, uh, big clap. Yeah. You guys uh, don't earn a level this this time, uh, oh. because uh, now that you're like level four already, your level progression is gonna get gradually slower. Uh, as you level up, uh, so that's why. I, if I level you up, every level at the end of the campaign, you'll be level twelve or level thirteen, and uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, so that's just what you gain this level. Uh, I this this session, the magic items. Uh, I really love cool. the role the. The role play you guys did. So all of you gain a clover leaf Yay. for that. And and yeah, uh, congratulations. And I'm glad to be back again doing this with you guys. <laughs> Bye. Uh, the one week break was definitely uh, something that I missed. <laughs> I really missed doing this. But yeah, uh, I'm a deafen myself real. Real quick to end the video. Like, subscribe, follow, <laughs> okay. whatever. Yeah. All like, right. comment, subscribe. Yeah. Comment. Thank you. Like, comment. Okay. Subscribe. Okay, thanks. Thank you so much for watching Gauntlet of Gathering. Uh, if you like this content, the rest, and you missed the first videos, there are, there's a, I have a playlist, so you can watch those back. And I apologize for the hiccup in the in the middle, but there you go. Uh, back at it again with chapter two, and stay tuned for the next few weeks for uh, the next uh, few sessions of this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>